Hello, good evening everyone. Good to see every one of you here. My name is Alex from MarketWise Asia. I can see that the people are streaming in right now. Today it is the 19th of October. It is a Tuesday evening. All right. So I think if you guys can uh, hear me loud and clear. Okay. So please type a hi to me in the comments if you can hear me loud and clear. Hello, Eddie. Hello, Singhua. Oh, just uh, by the way, if you want uh, everyone to see your chat, right? Remember to send it to everyone in the chat box instead of just host and panelists because if you just uh, send to host and panelists, the rest of the people can't see your chat. Okay, so send to everyone. So just make this session a lively place. So as I mentioned, today it is a Tuesday evening. Good, I can see. Uh, a lot of hi, hi, hi. Thank you very much. All right. And once again, thank you so much for being here and being on time. I know today is a Tuesday evening. Maybe you're off work just uh, not too long ago. Maybe you just had your dinner and I hope you guys had already had your dinner. I had mine. I had mine. So my wife actually tapao uh, ro fan, uh, braised pork rice for me. So I don't have the time to head out to get some dinner. Okay. I hope you guys had dinner already. And you know, today is a uh, Starting off the week, all right, I hope you, you guys uh, are having a good week. If you are not really having a good week, it is fine. Just endure for another uh, three more days and we are back to Friday again and you have a good rest. So whether it's a good week, not so good week, doesn't matter, hanging there and you know, the weekend will be coming here soon. Okay, so uh, just a quick show of hand, right? How many of you actually attended the previous booster webinar by Kayong? If you attended Kayong's uh, booster webinar, just type the letter K, letter K in the chat box so that I know you attended the previous session as well. Oh, okay, fantastic. I see uh, some people watch the replay. Doesn't matter if, whether if you watch the replay or whether you watch it uh, live, uh, doesn't matter as long as you watch. I, 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 I believe you, you agree with me that Kayong is a very good speaker and also a very good trainer as well, right? So we can also, you know, uh, link up a lot of these uh, macro views and such and you know uh, translate it into simple terms you know, language and explain to you simply so can you can understand um somebody's asking right how long will Ka Yong replay last for so for the booster webinar right it will be forever online for you 24 7 it is just that the asia trading festival the um the videos has already been locked already so as i as already mentioned we already extended the duration already so for the booster web webinar we uh we will leave it to you 24 7 shoot so you can you can uh, access it all right through the uh, video streaming site uh eileen chua so i already sent out the link to your email already are you registered for the asia trading festival if you are not uh, i think you need to register with us okay so let me let me post the link once again. Just give me a moment first. Uh, chat chat. All right. So uh, all right, Aline, just just uh register via the link below. All right. So once the replay for today it's uh, ready, I will send it to you guys once more once more through email and also in our Telegram channel also. Oh, by the way, uh, I forget to let you guys know. So uh, we also have this uh, Telegram channel. If, if you are really new to MarketWise Asia, okay, so just give me a moment. Uh. All right, so let me post the link once again in the chat box. All right, so we have the Telegram channel and also the MarketWise Facebook page. Do subscribe to our Telegram channel because we already passed uh, 4,000 people and we are nearing the 4,100 mark already. So I always give updates, price mover, breaking news, and I also do a uh, late night market talk every Friday evening so you guys can get the update as well. Okay, so today's session, it is not about me. Today's session, it is about Jay. I believe, I believe, most of you guys here in this uh, room should know Jay. If you don't know him, right, it is fine. You'll know him later. And I always, always call him a stock god. Okay, <laughs> in Chinese called Gu So a lot of things like the seasonals, 
you know, how to find strong sectors, strong stocks. I also learned from him today. And today he's going to share with you how to you know how to is it talking about the US market, all right, whether it is really a bull market or is it just a dead cap bounce? Okay, so for those who are new to Jay, all right, just let me just do a very quick introduction over here. All right, so Jay with a keen interest in trading and investing, Jay followed his passion and embarked on his trading journey in 2009 and reading dozens of trading books, attending numerous training programs. He found consistency and has been trading independently for the last 10 years. And he's also the founder of Swim Trading. And he has been trading the market actively since 2011 and is well-versed in equities, options, and index trading. And having traded each of this market extensively, he built his trading philosophy on the concept of consistency. And of course, as I mentioned just now, today we'll be sharing with you some new stuff and also share with you whether the US market right now is it a bull market or a just a big cap box. So without further ado, just let me invite Jay on the stage. All right, Jay, are you here? If you are here, all right, just do you mind if you just switch on your cam and your mic and say a hi Hello. to the people over here? Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hi, Alex. Hello. If you guys can hear this stock god, all right, please type. Uh, uh, Jay in the comments in the chat. Ah, uh -huh. okay. All Hello. your fans are here, Jay. Hi, everybody. It's yep. me again. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, just so to interrupt you, uh, so for those who have any question later to ask Jay, right, in the QA session, remember to type your question in the QA uh, tab because Jay always interact with the crowd. And if you type it in the chat box, your your question will get flooded in the chat and you can't see the question. We can't see the question later, okay? So if any question, type in the Q&A tab and for the Q&A tab, there is this upvote uh, button. So if you really want Jay to already answer your question, just give it an upvote and we'll answer those most popular question first. All right, got it. And for those who just came in, all right, as I mentioned, the chat box, if you want to let everyone see your chat, right, remember, uh, to send it to everyone instead of it's just hosts and panelists because you just send it to hosts and panelists only we two can see the chat only okay so just make this uh, whole session lively and okay back to you jay <laughs> okay all right um good evening everybody uh welcome to this uh tonight's very i, I would say it's an impromptu webinar because I have been discussing with Alex, like, oh, what should I talk about? Uh? US market, US market again. Uh? Uh, US market, okay, uh, US market. Uh. <laughs> then the way that he introduced me, right? I don't have to come out already, you know. Oh, stock got low, bro. Don't like that, leh. I scared. Hey, no, le, gu shen, le. So I think, you see, I, I, I if you agree that Jay, it is a stock god. If you already know, if you already know him, uh, if you agree, type yes in the comments. <laughs> type yes in the comments if you think he's, he's I, a stock god. I, Whatever I, I, stock he say, uh, most of the time, most likely, okay, uh, you'll go up one. <laughs> I, I, I this year lucky. I this year lucky. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, yeah. uh, thanks, thanks, Alex. Uh, let me let me share my screen. All right. All so right. So, me... uh, again, without further ado, without ado, mm -hmm. I'll let Jay start the session because Jay always has a lot of content. If we don't start really soon, uh, we cannot finish by nine thirty one or, or nine o'clock one. Okay. So oh. yeah, I shall disappear first. I will see you guys back in the Q and A session later. So over to you, Jay. All right. Great. Thank you. Thanks, Alex. Thank you. Welcome. All right. Um, good evening once again, everybody. You can see my screen, right? Let me do a um audio visual check. If you can hear me, see me, you can see my screen. Can you just have me type hello in the chat? All right. So good evening, everybody. Hello. All right, great. A few familiar names, right? Elin, Peter, Olivia. Okay, jump too fast. Eh? <laughs> Danny. <laughs> okay, Sherrod. Okay, very good. Now, can I check with you, right? Uh, I, I just want to know who is in here la, because without going through the whole list of names. So don't, don't get offended if I look left and right now because the, like, like Alex mentioned, I always like to interact and engage with uh, you. And I like other speakers. I don't like to do a one-way kind of presentation where it's very boring. So I will be asking you questions along the way. So some of you that have attended numerous of my sharing, I think this style is um, pretty... Um, it's nothing new. Okay, so would that be okay with everybody that I in interact with you, that I ask you questions? Is it okay with everybody? If it's okay, can you just let me type okay in the chat? Okay, uh? so the reason why I want to ask this question right, is to make sure that number one, you are attentive to what I'm saying. And then number two, right? Um, I also now 
that you are following on the key points lah, because there'll be certain key points, certain things that I'm sharing um, usually that I didn't have time to share um, during the Asia um, Trading Festival. So I hope to display some of that tonight as well. And of course, um, I welcome all questions. So if you have any questions, right, please, please, like what Alex mentioned, right, there is a Q&A section at the bottom of your screen. You should be able to see a chat and Q&A. So when I ask questions, you can reply me via the chat. But when you want to ask me questions, please ask them in the Q&A. Would that be okay with everybody? Okay, so if it's agreeable, can you just help me type the number one? Okay, just help me type number one. So questions from you, please send it in the Q&A because there will be a proper, you know, like a record over there. If not, you know, everyone keeps typing there, your question disappear, lah, all right? <laughs> so what's the purpose of tonight's question? Uh, what's the purpose? Uh, question. What's the purpose of tonight's webinar? Well, um, it's an extension of what I shared in Asia Trading Festival. So how many of you have attended my session at ATF? How many of you? Can you type me in the chat? Can you type me? I've attended my session at ATF. So what did I share there? I, I, I shared about um, how do we um, use, you know, uh, how, how do we track money flow? How do we track um, uh, where is the strength heading into? Okay, so basically that's the whole theme at ATF. So today, right, I want to move into something that is more technical, which I think something that all of you will appreciate. So it did okay that I do, you know, tonight I really got no slides. I have my charts, as you can see here, and I would want to share with you my thought process, as well as um, to share with you a little bit about how do I use technical analysis. Would that be okay with everybody? So it's a very raw form of trading. No, not trading, but of course, like raw form of sharing la, rather than a, it's a rehearsed one. For me, I don't like to do rehearsal. La, so it's just as it is. La. Would that be okay? Would that be fine with everybody? If it's okay, can you just have me type okay in the, in the chat as well? Oh, yeah, so I think, you know, you want to rehearse one, right? Um, you, there are many, many speakers who are willing to do rehearsal for, for what they're going to share. For, for my style is, uh, it's just going to be like that. Lor. When I see the market, I trade the market. I react according to the market. La. So this is, um, it has been my style. It has, um, it's something that hopefully after tonight, you will be able to get a glimpse into why do I do certain action and um, where do I think the market is going. Lah. And it's all based on not my opinions, but based on the facts that I see on the screen. Because my opinion doesn't matter. I don't have a billion dollars to back up my opinion. The market is not going to move according to my opinion. Neither the market is going to move to your opinion. So honestly, our opinion doesn't matter. So all, all we can do right, is just to react according to um, the market, right? Okay, so spon spontaneous, uh, can I? Uh. So uh, just to check, right? Just to check, uh, how many of you are from my community, Swim Trading, and how many of you are from SMT? Can you just type Swim Trading or, or SMT in the chat? So at least I know, or both. So at least I know who are my students, who are not, or both. <laughs> okay, both. Okay, great. Anybody that's entirely new to me, any, anybody is entirely new, um, like never ever hear me before, don't know what, who am I? None. <laughs> anybody new? Can you type new in the chat? Anybody? Don't have, ah? uh, I, hope, I, I hope don't have. Ah, uh, today is new. Uh. <laughs> today is new. Uh. Hey, Meisham, hello. Oh, okay. So for those of you that are new, right? Just to give you a little backdrop of what I do. Like, this is, uh, I, I founded this when, as a part of logging down my reflection. Uh, so I'm a founder of Swim Trading. So why Swim Trading? I believe that we are, when we are trading, right, we are literally swimming in the current of the ocean. Um, the, the, the market is like an ocean and we are just literally just swimming along with the current. So hence, you know, the name Swim Trading comes about. Uh, I'm neither a swimmer. I'm a cyclist. I'm a badminton player. Um, I, don't, I don't swim at all. So nothing to do with swimming. So this, this is what I have been doing since 20, 2015. Uh, just for some of you that, you know, uh, I, I've been more public in 2015, uh, uh, since 2015. Before that, I started trading at the age of 22. Um, but honestly, in the first few years, right, um, and during 2010 to all the way to 2013, 14, right, it was a struggle. It was a mad struggle because you think that from day one, hey, I can become a full-time trader. And now I think back, right, if I can give an advice uh, to the younger me, I think, you, you wake up your idea, uh, don't, don't, don't dream. La. <laughs> it's one of the toughest things that I've done in my whole life. La. How many of you agree uh, that trading is very, uh, it's not easy. How many of you agree that trading is tough? Can you just help me type hard? Can you just help me do that? Xiong, right? especially you want to trade full-time, right? So I always receive the question, la, like, Jay, how do you manage to um, trade full-time? Um, I would say it's a combination of right timing, um, lucky as well, and also supportive family. La, because 
Um, I didn't have any liabilities when I started trading in, you know, age 22, still staying with my parents back then. So no liabilities, no nothing to pay, no bills, nothing, la, no car, no wife, no nothing, la, just alone, so sad. Yeah, and the first few years was a struggle. I did many, many jobs that most of you wouldn't envision or want to do. La. I did delivery before. Uh, before that, there was no grab. So if not, I would have done grab delivery. So I drove a van, go and deliver goods. I gave out flyers. I sell computers. The first few years, just to get by. Seriously, everything I do. And then my mom, right, was like, why you finish your uni? Don't go and start. I mean, don't go and work. La. Why are you going to do all this funny, funny job? La? So the first few years, nobody know. La. But now, la, you all know. La. How, many, how many of us here? 350 people of you all here. La. So now you all know. Um, that, that There was this dark past before that. You know, all, all of you see me today. You think, hey, wow, this guy is uh, young. Uh, you know? um, but we all got our own history. La. So the point here is, right? The point here is trading is a journey that cannot be rushed. If you are looking to get rich quick in this journey, I suggest you do something else. Don't come and trade because if you trade, you are literally just taking your money, throwing all over the place. You are bound to you know, run into losses. Hard-earned money that you throw away, I think it's quite hard pain. How many of you agree with what I just said? Can you type me in the chat? Yeah, so um, today, today, now that you know, I know a lot of you like shiong, ah, wah, hard, ah. Well, today, right, I aim to make this just a little easier for you by giving you some form of clarity and value as always. So this has always been my style to deliver value. And yeah, pretty much this is what uh, we, you are in here for the next plan. Uh, plan is one and, one and a half hours. Uh, but every time you usually overrun a bit. Uh. Is it okay that we overrun a bit, but not, not long, no, uh, no longer than two hours? Uh? Is it okay with everybody? Just, just overrun a little bit because sometimes got questions. Uh. So we'll take time to go and answer the questions. Okay, uh, can I? Uh? All right, so today is just to really want to make your life, you know, a lot easier. And if you want to know, sorry, if you want to know what I do, right, just go on to my website, connect with me on my Facebook. You can see everything is there. All right, so now that we are acquainted with each other, now let's jump into the market itself. I think the question with regards to this market, right, everyone will be asking, where is this market going to go? Is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? So now for a start, right, I want to stay until tomorrow. So can I cannot, cannot. I want to play with my baby girl before she sleeps. <laughs> and if I stay until tomorrow, this is the last time Alex is going to invite me on for any show. <laughs> he will ban me from coming on on any of his webinar because he needs to go and play with uh, his daughter as well. Um, FYI, uh, our daughters are three months, two, two months apart, two months apart. Uh, same age, same year. Um, his is older and, and mine is slightly younger, two months apart. So it, it's a good playmate. <laughs> yes, US markets start trading at 9.30 and that's where I look to make the cut lah, because um, I, I need to be good looking at some of my positions as well. All right. So looking at the US market, right? Um, I always like to use a bird's eye view first and always what do I mean by bird's eye view. It's I want to be looking at the market first. So the market itself, right? I will be looking at S&P 500 futures, also known as ES. This is a tickle symbol. Okay, can everybody type ES in the chat? Okay, ES. Now, why ES? Why not S&P 500 itself? Well, it's a matter of preference. Um, pretty much you see if the ES, right? Um, S&P 500 futures, it's uh, 4499, which is 4,005. If you look at S&P 500 itself, right, the, it, it is still as, yes, as of yesterday's price. Lah. So 4486, the price point is slightly different. But um, in terms of ES, I like it because there's 24 hours um, continuity. So there's 24 hours continuity. And then as well, there's their volume. That's why um, I pay attention a lot to this uh, continuity because it tells me what the Asia session is doing, what the European session is doing when it hits into the US session, what is it likely to do? So it does seem that the market is pretty bullish um, as of now. So this is the reason why I look at S&P 500 futures. Lah. So with this, right, I also want to check with all of you. Ah, what do you think of the market? Ah? Do you all think the market is going to go up or down from here onwards. That means in today is what? Today is uh, Tuesday. So in the next three days, right? Do you think we will go up or down? Can you just help me type your choice in the chat? Up or down? Yeah, Apple Chong. Uh, huh? Apple not bad. Huh? Uh, you don't know. You don't know. Up, down, slowly up, breaking all-time high. Danny, range bound. Uh. Mm, okay, okay. 
up and hot. Okay, not bad. <laughs> Whose nickname is 7.30.28 April? <laughs> Whose who Zoom name is 7.30.28 April? Hello, I'm 7.31 May 2021. <laughs> Sorry, just to disturb you. Uh, sky is the limit. Um, does it mean that it will go up when we expect, uh, to go down when we expect up? Uh, don't think too deep. Lah. Don't think too deep. Okay, so my, so to share with you the perspective, right? Number one, uh, macro view. Uh, that means I want to look at what, where the market is doing. So this is what we are going to go through tonight. Lah. So number one, right? What is the macro view? Number two, right? Any potential challenges or obstacles that we are expecting? Like for example, um, any important news, Etc. You know, towards the end of the year, what can we expect? So this is, uh, a, it, it's a flow chart. Okay, you can't like immediately jump into one without the other. So we always look at a macro, then we look at the obstacles. Then number three, right? We then look at the key levels because the key levels, right? They are giving us um an idea on how do we frame up this trade because by framing this trade we will then know that, okay, at this price above here, we consider it to be a buying opportunity below a certain price. It is a selling opportunity, etc. Okay, so key level is one very, very integral part of my analysis when it comes to technical. And this is something that I want to go slightly more in depth tonight. Uh, is it okay with everybody if I share uh, how I do it with you? Is it okay? If it's okay, can you just type number three in the chat for me? Okay, good. Huh? And again, right, again, um. Now, let me see uh, some of the questions. Uh, what are the data indicators that make me stay out of the market be, be, before I assume, right? Uh, HK. Okay, later. This, I, I'm going to leave the question here. I'm going to leave the question there. So Irving has a question. Tan has got a question. There. I'm going to leave it there first. All right. Um, key levels, that's to do the framing. And then after that, number four, it is to do the trigger. So it's literally from a very top-down approach. Uh, what is happening? What are some of the challenges? Where are some of the opportunities? So obstacle, this one, obstacle plus opportunities. Then opportunities. And then after that, where, what price to buy and then the trigger. Basically, this is the framework. Lah, or I mean, to keep things very simple, um, to, make, to, to give you an idea. So a lot of people, right? I think I realized what they like to do is immediately they straight away jump into trigger. Oh, this stock can buy. Ah. I buy now without a fair consideration of why are you buying? Ah? They have not answered this question. They're probably buying because they see, uh, uh, they hear a certain recommendation. They see a signal that is on this chart based on a system they're subscribed to. So a lot of people just immediately jump into the trigger without figuring out the why. So when you have got no why, ah, when this is absent in your flow chart, right? You do not know the reason why you're entering. So if you do not know why you're entering, you can enter and can make money. No problem. You still can make money. But when the trade doesn't go your intended way, that's where right, it really, really tests your conviction. And when you got no conviction, guess what? You will then do erratic, emotional, okay, emotional responses to what is happening now. And that's where you will cut your position short. You will follow, you'll not follow a plan. In fact, you don't even have a plan and it really screws up everything. How many of you fell into this trap before? Can you type emo? Can you just type emo? Um, depends if you're a trader, investor. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I'm not an investor. I don't, I don't buy something that is like two, three years and, and whole and, you know, I, I don't do that. I'm a trader. And my time frame for trader and things that I'm sharing with, with you, things that I am sharing with you tonight um, it's coming in from that time frame or the perspective of a few weeks, lah, probably about two weeks plus minus. Lah, okay. Uh, anything that happened beyond that, I don't know. Don't ask me. You ask Alex. Alex, no. Ah. Alex always right. You ask me, I don't know. So this is my time frame. Ah. Okay. This is my time frame. And uh, yeah, so basically, right, based on this, I think most of you will think that the market is going up right now. Right. Just based on what I've asked just now, you think that the market is going up. Um, Angela is asking, like, you know, what's the correlation between S and P five hundred and the futures? Uh, correlation. Uh, one is the twenty four hours, and then the price, the price point is slightly different. Um, but the the movement more or less is point for point movement. Uh, but the absolute value is slightly different. Uh. just just go and do a quick Google search on that. All right. So, uh, for me, I like the continuity. That's why I'm looking at S and P five hundred. Okay. So this is the framework itself, four main steps. Okay, is that clear if everybody, if it's clear, can you, all of you just type number four, number four. Okay, just let me type number four in the chat. 
And, and this is what I mean. Uh. I always like to ask questions. I always like to do a summary, ask me how we type this, how we type that. So please help me type this. If you find me irritating, you can leave the room. It's perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, because uh, there, the previously there was there was a guy, hey, why you keep asking me to type? Why you do this? And I'm like, oh, yeah, you don't like that. You, 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 see the red but you see the red button below you. Uh, you click, uh, then you leave. Uh. Don't, don't, don't come here, waste my time, waste other people's time. Okay, so okay, uh, this is my style. Uh. So you're perfectly fine with my style. Let's continue on. If not, uh, yeah, you save yourself some time, leave the room now, all right? Can I? Uh? So I, I don't mean to irritate you. Uh. I, I don't mean to irritate you. But as I'm doing this, I also don't hope to be irritated also, uh, just to be fair. Uh. Okay, so there, there, are, there are people like that. Then we are like, like you, you, nobody force you to be here, my young girl, you go. Uh. <laughs> okay, so over here, right? Um, Usually, like, when I approach from a macro point of view, right, I like to switch on to the weekly chart. Like. How many of you are uh, just immediately look at daily chart? How many of you just look at daily chart without anything else? Can you just tell me type D in the chat? That means I only look at daily chart. I make all my decisions on daily chart. I don't even bother looking at something else. Only. That means entirely, 100%, your attention is on daily. If that's your approach, okay, hopefully after tonight, change it a little bit. Meaning, if you don't look at, even if you are not trading weekly, right, it pays to know what is the big picture. So I will always start here. I always, always start here at step number one. I will always change it to weekly. Okay, is that clear with everybody? Is that clear with everybody? If it's clear, can you just let me type W in the chat? All right, let me type W in the chat. Now, weekly chart, if you're going to start from monthly, you also can, but I and my trading style not so long. Okay, yours may be okay. Okay, if your trading style is like I'm a longer term investor, perfectly fine. You can start with monthly, uh, because when you start with monthly, it basically just tell you what is uh, uptrend, it's volatile, and then it's like super uptrend. That's pretty much what it's telling you lah. So not much conclusion from here. So I always like to start with weekly. So from the weekly time frame, right? From the weekly time frame. I would then identify where are the, you know, where is the trend? Ah? So now based on the weekly time frame, can you all resoundingly tell me ah, ever since the COVID bottom, right? Our trend from last year, April till now, is it up or is it down? Because this question is very important. Ah. Sounds very stupid, but it's a very important question. Ah. It is a uptrend. Very good. So when it is a uptrend, why I say this question sounds stupid, but it's important because there is a lot of people, uh, a lot of traders, right? I call them the grasshopper. They are, you know what's a grasshopper? They are the, there's a middle line, right? I don't know where I'm going. This is neutral. Oh, here up, here down. You know what they do? Oh, one day down, jump over here. One day up, jump over here. One day down, jump back here. One day up, jump back here. Up, up, up. Then after that down, wow, jump back down. So what they will do, they will switch. Turn, 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 turn until they're also confused. Because trust me, uh, if I want to make you stand on the spot, right? I'm going to give you consecutively 20 different directions. Turn left, turn right, turn left, turn left, turn right, turn left, turn left. After 20 rounds, I ask you, so where are you now? They will be like, I don't know, I'm lost, I'm confused. Exactly. So these are the kind of people that what we term as grasshoppers. So how many of you are grasshopper? How many of you are grasshopper? Can you type GH for me? Grasshopper. That means the market go down, you change. Wow, the market go up, you also, wow. wow. Then, then you're very, like, very confused all the time. Man. Anybody? <laughs> Deforest the parade. Yeah, Lord, the, what the sergeant major make us do? Eh? Turn left, turn right, turn left, turn right before we book out. Eh? <laughs> Kanjong King, right? Grasshopper, right? <laughs> hey, thanks, Stephen. <laughs> so, why are people having this grasshopper mentality? And a lot of, the traders, right, then that I've spoke to, right, they say, oh, I want to short the market. I want to short the market. So I agree. I agree that you should be both long and short. That means you should have versatility when it comes to executing your trades. But the time frame of which that you are doing your long trade, which is buying, and the time frame that you are doing your short trade, it's very important as well. Because if you were to look at, you know, the expectations, lah. so allow me to be very direct. Huh? Those people that are short in the market, what are they expecting? They are expecting the market to go down 20%, trend downwards for three months so they can hot until the cows come home. Am I right to say that? So that is the, the kind of expectations because, oh, if I buy a stock, huh, I can hold for many months. It will go up for a very, very long time. Huh? But they will also take this, superimpose it, and 
want to find the same thing when it is shorting. Meaning, I hope that this downtrend can continue for a very, very long time. And then after that, uh, end of the world, you know, 20, 30% down, that kind of thing. So the time frame here, it's of utter importance. And in order for us not to be a grasshopper, what do we need to do? We need to first determine from the weekly time frame, at least because I'm a trader. So I'm a, uh, my, my trading is somewhere around two weeks or so. So I do a lot of swing trading. So over here, it is very, very clear that the market is in an uptrend. So why did I say it is a stupid question, but it's important is because the trend will tell us our bias. Okay, our trend will tell us our bias. How many of you agree with this? Okay, can you type bias in the chat? How many of you agree with that? Can you type bias? Great. So, what is the bias so far? What is the bias so far? The bias so far is, is obviously looking for opportunities to buy. Not that I only know how to do buying. Okay, not that I only know how to do buying, but when you are shorting, what I have realized, right, especially in the last four years, um, when you are shorting the market, the market tends to be very fast. That means it will drop. Uh. The longest bear window that we have seen is about three weeks. Uh. Usually, it's about three weeks in the last five, six years. Plus, minus, uh, huh? not soon, soon, 21 days. Uh. So, it's very fast. And then, usually, it is V-shaped. Why? Just like a rubber band. Uh. You pull down long enough, you let go, the thing will fly back up. Uh. Okay, way beyond where you put it down from. So, shorting right, requires another set of skill set, okay? Another set of skill set rather than a, oh, I can long, I can short. Uh, you, you, you can play tennis, doesn't mean you can play badminton and vice versa. Lah. Although both are racket sports, same, same, but different. So, longing and shorting, it's same, same, but different, okay? Is that clear with everybody? If it's clear, can you just help me type clear? Okay, just let me type clear. So, bias it's obviously looking up. Lah. So what are we going to do? Look for opportunities to buy, lah, seriously. And it's not that I'm an obstinate bull, lah, right? I, I follow the trend lah, because the money tells me, or rather the trend tells me whether the money is flowing in or out of the market. And uh, make no mistake, lah, when implied money flow, lah, we won't exactly know where the money is going. So last year, right, because of COVID, $3.3 trillion are being printed in, you know, injected into this economy system. So obviously, a huge chunk of it found itself into the stock market. And therefore, this market really just got shot up all the way like that. Right? So I am, am I going to argue with this money flow and say, hey, I don't want to, I want to short, I want to short. Well, let's establish the fact number one. If you want to short, right? How many opportunities do you have? You have probably one opportunity here, two, three, uh, arguably four, five, um, six. Maybe this one seven. I give it. I give it to you seven. So I, I give it another one eight. You only have eight opportunities to do a meaningful shot. So all the other time that you are, I want to shot. 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 What happened? You 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 lose money. You lose money. You lose money. You lose money. You pluck out your hair. You lose money. You sell house. You lose money. That's exactly what's happening. Okay, guys, are we clear? So this trend, okay, start from the weekly. It tells us the overall view. We stick with the side of the trend. We don't go and, I want to shop this. I want to go opposite. Why? Because I'm special. Uh, because Warren Buffett say, be fearful when people are greedy. Well, uh, that's a very abstract idea. Lah. But realistically, if we are going to look at a market logically, right? The money is going, the, the market is going up because money flow is going in. Simple as that. There's positive money flow. Okay, does that make sense with everybody? Does that make sense so far? If it makes sense, can you just have me type a plus sign? Okay, just have me type a plus sign in the, in the, in the chat. Okay, and let me see. Oh, we've got like 400 people. Can the replies be faster? Okay, today I have not much energy, so I talk slower. Okay, so can all of you please help me do uh, the reply? Yeah, so the more you reply, the more I, the happier I am. Yeah, if it keep going up. And if you look at the market, right, um, in the long run, it, it, it more or less go up because of inflation, because of uh, population growth, because of uh, index replacement. That means the stocks on the index, right? If you cannot perform, they kick you out. Then it's engineered to go up. Man. So therefore, right, uh, investors, even if you look at S&P 500, last 25 years, you do nothing at all. It also goes up about 8% per annum. 
eight percent. Okay, it's way better than your CPF, right? In in those those in Singapore, you get you get you, you will know what I mean, right? CPF only four percent in the SA. So the market is always engineered to go up in the long run. And over here, I think that we are pretty pretty safe, uh, because it is in the grand scheme of things, right? Despite this drop of eight percent, I think it is still a very very valid, you know, a very valid uptrend. Okay, so that's the bias. Have can we all agree and establish on this fact? That means moving forward, your bias it is to look for things to buy. Okay, at the right price, lah, of course. Lah. So that's where the second part I'm going to come in. Okay, can we agree to the same bias? If it's okay with you, can you just help me type yes? Okay, can all of you four hundred and nineteen of you just type yes? Flood the whole chat, please. Thank you. Okay, so clear, clear. So this part clear. So after I have done this, right, then I will make use of my technical analysis. Lah. And contrary to popular belief, ah, let me show you how my charts would look like. Okay. Uh, in fact, okay, I don't have an example here, but uh, maybe I show you why. Do I have any drawing? Yeah, pretty much this is how my chart will look like. And while you are expecting a lot of indicators, a lot of all the, wow, what secret sauce ah, uh, don't have. This is the secret sauce. The secret sauce is in here. The secret sauce is how I see this market and then how I make use of the key levels to help me make my decision. So this is the second part that we're moving in into right now. Okay, is it okay with everybody? Is it okay with everybody? So can I, can I, can I move on? If it's okay, can I move? Uh, if I can move on, can you just let me type okay? All right. So over here, it is very clear that it's an uptrend. Usually what I will do is I don't like to plot so many lines. Lah. So on support resistance, I know a lot of people, right? They like to do these. Ah. Oh, I plot one here, 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 plot one here. Wow, then your whole line, right? Your whole chart, you know, it's like what? All full of lines, man. Eh, bro, you plot all the line, ah. sure, kena one, all the line, sure, kena one, right? Right or not? <laughs> you fill the whole chart with lines, then basically you, every line also important, right? <laughs> so we should have some clarity. Ah. Oh, we should have some clarity. So this is where the second part I'm talk, going to talk about, it is about the key levels, okay? It is the key levels. Later, I'll show you where to find some of the, some of the stocks I'm looking at. So now, I'm looking at the key levels. And over here, the key level, I am looking at all the really important ones. That means those that are not important, I ignore. Not the small, small one, I ignore. Okay, are we clear? Okay, can you just type... IMPT, important, just type important lines. Okay, just type this. This is important. So the very obvious one, and I don't like to go like 10 years back. 10 years back doesn't matter. Whatever the market was at 800, at 1,000, 1,002, it doesn't matter because today it's at 4,500. So I'm going to focus on where the price action is right now. So looking at this, right? Um, What I define as small, what do you mean by small? <laughs> what I define as small, that means... All those ue boy la, you know, here got one gap la. Wow, this gap also la. I mean, this gap is just a very small one. Okay. So my focus is always on uh okay, the all-time high. The all-time high, yes, it will be uh it will be a level. So let me zoom in uh, and establish some some facts first. Uh. When we are plotting any lines, right? Okay, any lines, the lines are always termed as zone. Okay, every line it is a box. Please do not plot one line and say oh, this resistance is at something, something 0.75. Never go like this way. Huh? Just imagine it is a very, very thick line, like a box. Okay, is that okay for everybody? If it's okay, can you just have me type box in the chat? Now, why box? It's just like, you know, I give you a ballpark figure, lah, 1 million. Hey, how much you buy a house for? Ah? Uh, 1 million, no? So how much exactly? Ah? So it's 1.023 million considered 1 million. Kind of, right? It's 997,000 considered close to 1 million. Kind of, right? So it's much easier to say, oh, 1 million, nah. right or not? So when it comes to the market, same thing. When there is a line there, it's always a zone because we are always looking at demand supply areas. We are always looking at liquidity zones. So over here, right? Um, I always like to plot, you know, don't, don't plot right all the way to the top. You plot all the way right to the top users one, okay? So why? Because right at the top there, only one transaction. Only one transaction means that liquidity is very thin in the area. So it means that that line is at the extreme of the zone. Okay, it's like maybe the top end of the zone. So I like to be, you know, coming down a little bit, plotting through, knowing that let's say 4530, four, this is where the zone is. 
that's probably where the next resistance is. Okay, next resistance, fronting that, you know, previously the prices turned up, people find that it is expensive. Then after that, the prices comes down for whatsoever reason. The reason that they find it expensive, I don't care. A lot of people have different view, different reasoning. I don't care about the reason. We are traders. We are not analysts. So it's expensive. It got sold down. So the next time that the market go up, right, it is bound to be an objective point. OP. Can everybody type OP in the chat? So do I ignore the, uh, the weak and shadow? Yeah, I, I kind of ignore that. Okay, OP. So this is important, an objective point. Huh? Because this tells us that if the market go there, I am expecting a reaction. So you see now, this is the chain of thought. I know that the previous price, okay, the previous time it goes there, it is expensive. Now, the next time that it goes up there, eh, is it expensive? How is the market reacting? Uh, because that will give me a clue of how the people feel, how the market participants feel. Are they feeling bullish? Are they feeling a bit fearful? Uh, so all these are small, small clues along the way. Okay, so is it clear? Is my explanation clear for everyone so far? Is it clear? If it's clear, can you just let me type clear in the chat? All right, so over here, right at the top, then I, I don't like to plot too many lines. Lah, huh? I don't like to plot too many lines. I think one support area, uh, if I were to duplicate this, right? Let me change it to a solid line. And if I were to plot this one support area, I will think that coming down here just a little bit, Okay, just somewhere up here a little bit. I think this area is fine. This box is fine. Um, then another one downwards, probably somewhere here. Anything that's in between, um, there is just another one here. Yeah, just another one there. And pretty much like that already. Not, nothing really, nothing really, uh, that, the rest doesn't matter. Like anything below 3,005, 3,006, it doesn't matter because the market is not going to go that way. Man. Okay, so you will be surprised. Huh? My charts really literally just look like that. Huh? Not many lines one. Literally not many lines one. So always keep your lines recent. Huh? Because I know a lot of traders, their line is like, wow, all over the place one. Here, have flour, there, have flour. Wow. Hey, the, the textbook say the bottom must plot. Uh, true, lah. there is a support there. Lah. But how is 2002 relevant to 4005 right now? It's not relevant. Lah. Not relevant, then don't put on the chart lah, because it confuses you. Lah. At least it confuses me. Lah. So my style is always to keep things simple, to have greater clarity. Lah. Huh? Get what I'm saying? Get what I'm saying? Huh? Okay. Huh? Ken. So pretty much this is what I'm expecting. And then uh, the next thing right, I want to plot right, will be a trend line. Okay. The next thing I want to plot, it will be a trend line. So the trend line itself, right? I want to do a very interesting exercise with you. Uh. So my, the, the trend line I plot uh, is a long-term trend line. Uh. So how many of you want to learn this? This uh, secret way of plotting trend line. How many of you want to learn this? Can you type me in the chat? Uh, we still got a lot of time, uh, can I? Okay, so I'm going to look at long term. So this is 2009 uh, to 2017. Uh, okay, maybe I zoom in a little bit. I don't show you what's behind. Uh. So let's plot the line first. So what I do, right, it's um, I will have a trend line too. And then uh, uh, here is the objective part. Here is where the objective part comes in. I will then have a line. Okay, I will then have a line to test out first, long-term trend line, because I believe in the anger. The anger, okay, this anger, what does it imply? It implies the rate of what? The rate of change, la. the rate of money flow change, the rate of change, all right? The rate of change. So this angle is very important. And this angle, right, we have to go and test out various um, angles in order to get uh, in order to get the so-called the best fit one. Uh. At the end of the day, right, the whole idea is to find a best fit line. Okay, BF, best fit line. Can everybody type BF for me? Best fit. So um, looking at this, I think that, I think this is kind of like the best fit area or, or the best fit line. Then I have a support here, a support here, support here, support here, pressures through, comeback, resistance, then close like resistant, 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 resistant. Ah, this is where when you have a trend line, it adds a different dimension to your charting. Because if you are just using horizontal support resistance, right, you will be always wondering how come ah, every time market break out a little bit, hit there, then go sideways, come down, then break out a little bit, go sideways, come down, then break out a little bit, go sideways, come down, then break out a little bit, go sideways, come down. Because the anger is there. This anger is the rate of change of money flow. 
So it really, really changes like, all that much. Like, huh? So looking from 2015, 2009, so long term, uh, long term, uh, 2009 onwards, right? I've decided that, you know, this is, a, this is a support area turning into a resistance area. What I will do is to clone the line. So as I clone the line, right, you will realize that, do you realize, uh, do you realize, uh, can you see that the rate of ascension actually quite soon? How many of you can see this? If you can see this, can you type wow? Can you just let me type wow? Yes, it is an art. So when art combined with science, what do you get? Kaching, kaching, you get money. I know lah, you get luck lah. Uh, that's why I say I'm lucky the whole year. <laughs> okay, so this is where it finds resistance, 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 which I think, okay, le, seems, seems okay. Then, uh, then uh, I'm going to plot more. Uh. So I'm going to pull it downwards as well. Uh. I'm going to pull it downwards as well. Uh. So do you realize that, do you realize that the same angle, actually there's a support, there's a support, there's a support, there's a support, <laughs> there's a support. And then this one crashed through, right? I'm pretty sure here is a resistance. Without showing you, I'm pretty sure there's a resistance. How many of you can start to see? Oi, seems interesting. How many of you think that this method is interesting? Can you type me? Can you type me? So it's this one I never really share all the time, lah. But every time Alex asks me come on, then he say until I got ready. Well, I don't show you all something later. Really, jala <laughs> Throw his face. <laughs> So next time I don't come. Next time uh, Alex invite me, I, I want my life. Go home. Don't come. So this is where, you see, if I go forward, see, you see the resistance here? How many of you see this? You know, just now was like that. Ma. So just now was like that, right? Can you see? So why must it get resisted there? Ah? Why? Ah? Why? Ah? I don't know. I really don't know. But think about this objectively. Okay. How can it serve us? Let's not be enslaved by these. But how can it serve us? It can serve us by giving us an area. It can serve us by giving us a target price that is in line with our bias. That's why I kept asking you, what is the bias? Where is the trend? Because without the bias, I know the price also useless. Man. You get what I mean? It's just like when you drive out, from east side to west side, okay? You go down PIE. PIE is one of the express freight in Singapore. So you drive down, right? You need to know where to exit. Uh, or, or rather, oh, I want to go this direction. Here is where I should join in. Here is where I should enter the highway. But at least you need to know direction. Uh. You cannot be driving aimlessly, right? You cannot be, at least you need to know, am I heading west? Am I heading east? Am I heading north or south? Does it make sense? So this is literally my, my, my thought process, lah. Number one is the bias, which is what I have determined with you very quickly just now. Number two, make use of key levels, which is what I'm displaying to you right now. Go and identify your target prices. Lah. Okay, so how many of you can start to link these two up together? Can you type number two for me? Can you type number two for me? Mm. So Stephen, uh, uh, quick question. Stephen says that I uh, mentioned S&P 500 futures. Rather than five S and P five hundred itself, if you want to do for drawing, which one should you draw? Um, for me, I'm doing on ES. That means S and P five hundred futures. For between investor and trader, which one is better and more profitable? Uh, it depends. Uh, uh, investors will say that they are profitable. Traders will say that they are profitable. Everybody will say that they are profitable. To me, is you 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 good lah. You make money good because I also make money. I don't care how much money you make. I only care how much I make. I think I think that's that's the key point lah. You keep looking at other people, there's no end one. Uh. So it's really, really down to your skill set. If your skill set, your temperament is that of a, oh, you this one goes so fast, I'm scared. Uh. Uh, then you need to choose the correct market. You need to choose the correct time frame. Uh, if you like well, fast and furious, uh, then all the more you slow down a little bit. Uh, you choose a much more vibrant market and then you slow down a little bit. So uh, volume, volume later. Uh, Irving and Jimmy is asking volume, they are later. Okay, so these are the two things. Uh. Uh, seems that long term, ah. no lah, Lester, ah, boy lah, heaven lah, chill lah. <laughs> Let me move in. I like to move in slowly lah. I don't want short just and then you'll catch no ball, right? Ah, this is a two step. Okay, two step. Uh, monthly, two little thing lah. I don't, I two little details. So over here, you can see that if I zoom down, okay, let, let me show you the magic lah. Let me show you the magic. Okay, now if I zoom down and if I were to go forward, it, it's not only for long term trading. Ah. Can you see that this trend angle? It actually project the top of 2018. How many of you can see that now? How many can see that now? Can you type me? So here is the point. 
Okay, I don't want to show you something now and then try to fix to a story. I want to show you a set of methodology that is timeless. Okay, timeless. And then you can use it in any market, right? That's what you all want, ma, right or not? So even if you're a short-term trader, how can you make use of these lines? Ah, uh, can, sure can use one. Come, come, moving, moving there, moving there. My kanjong. Okay, so you see, as it crashes through, uh, there's another one. So as you go, it go, it go. Can you all see this? How come all the lines are? Uh, okay, support. There's a resistance. Okay, move here. There's kind of a support going up. How come I stop here? How come I stop here? How come I? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know and I don't care. So can you see how scary it is? If you do not know these levels, you are like flying blind. But once you start to see all these levels, you'll be like, bloody hell, actually, all these things are there. I never see it. <laughs> so, hey, once again, uh, can you all see not? Can you all start to see all this not? Cannot, cannot. So as it goes up, then it crashes. Then after that, it go up again, up again, up again, before it breaks through. Uh. But you can see all these lines are never really changed. Uh. Whatever affected 2018, it affected 2020 before the crash. It affected post-COVID rally. You know, it stagnated a little while before it breaks through. So pretty much all this line, one set, don't need to change one. Okay, pretty much there. Then now, like that, how? Ah? Now, you ask, now you ask me, hey, Jay, are the line up there, how? Ah? Go back in time, la, find an anchor point. La. So if I were to do this, right, um, what I would do, it's probably I will come up somewhere here, somewhat come up somewhere here. I think pretty much like that. Okay, so let's see. See? See or not? <laughs> Why the market turn up there? Like that, law. So how do I project any turning points or anything? Uh, do I know some magic? I don't know. I only know how to draw lines. That's all I do. I, I'm a one, one trick pony. I know how to draw lines. I am damn good at reading my lines. So I know what goes behind the line. So I have some conviction. So I don't deviate from my plan. Okay, so can you all, can you all start to see some light? Can or not? There's another small one here. Like, if, you, if you take a look at it, uh, same angle, I think it's somewhere here. There's a resistance area support. So this is what I do. La. So if you find that now too many lines, right? Ah, let me let me change this to, uh, this is the solid one. Ah. Anything that is bottom, I don't care really. Okay? Anything that's bottom, I don't care. I just want to focus on this top part right here. Okay, top part right here. And then I add on one pivot. Pretty much it's like that. So this is now a complete picture which allows to tell me, or rather what it's telling me is, I have framed up the trade already. I frame up the chart. Now, it's time to determine, now I want to buy. Where is the next level that I want to buy at? Can you all see like, can you all see, can you all see like, wow. Hey, how many of you learned something? Can you type, can you type me? Can you type yes? Can you type something? Can you not? So, we are aircon very cold. Let me, let me tune, let me turn, turn down a little bit. Hey, you really go and type something. Uh, wah, piang. You, you, you good job. Uh, you good job. I, I, I give you thumbs up. Okay. You good job. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, this is the before the market turn. Uh, so, this, this answers a tons question. Uh, tons question say, what a data indicator makes me decide to stay out of a market uh, in the recent correction? Um, number one. It hits a certain price level. It hits a certain key level. And then number two, the price action itself, it doesn't look very healthy. Like, you know, it breaks through and then it cannot hold. Then it comes down. Then it flushes down. Like. So the whole idea is what price do I want to buy? And these are lines, right, are what helps me achieve this. Like. Literally what I've just displayed right in front of you. They help me display. They help me uh, achieve this. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Like? Okay, so it gives me an idea. So it, when, when one shot I show you this chart, you'll be like, oh, no head, no tail one. Voila, how to conclude? But now you all understand because I literally build this up from scratch. So practically, this is what uh, you, you have to do first la, when it comes to, when it comes to uh, you know, framing up the trade. And another tool that I like to use is Pivot. Uh, this is something that Alex is great at. He kept using this in all his Facebook Live, Central Pivot range, you know, if you guys have not watched this, right, go and watch his, his Facebook live. He every time uh, will display this. Huh? So pivot, right? They are like kind of like a hidden level. Like you see prices comes up. Why can I resist it? Because uh, the R1 is there. Lah. Then it come down. Then it get rejected here. Then before it go up. So right now, what is what is it going to do? Okay, what is it going to do? 
we have the previous re trending resistance. You can see that it was a resistance here, then bounces up, now it's a support, then bounces a little bit before crash through, getting rejected, and then now start to come back up already. So it broke above few things, okay? Now the current price action, current price. Current price went above the resistance one. It went above my trend line, this pink color long-term trend line. And pretty much what I'm waiting for is just can this level hold? Pretty much it's just like that. So I don't jump in right, you know, bam, I jump in. Hey, chill la, chill la. In, in this market, la, the first one to go does not mean it's a good thing, you know. Uh, sometimes first one to go is the first one to die. Why? Because that's where you can see you first want to buy in at the breakout and then after that you force breakout and then you will trigger your stop loss and then you cry, you cry already, then you go back up again. This year happened eight times already. Don't let it happen to you for the ninth time, right? So don't 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 just a one shot, just jump in like that. Lah, huh? You you ah, very big one, right? Uh, that's why, you know, so some, for those of you that are very familiar with what I do in COTD, right? I every time pick very different stocks, right? And then those stocks really got moved, right? Okay, how many of you watched the COTD, the series, and then you, and, and things really became true to what I say? How many of you seen that? Can you type me in the chat? So you realize that the stocks are all very different as well, right? It's not the usual kind of stocks that you would trade, right? Why? Uh, because of all this framing, uh, because of all this idea of how price action behave. Uh, huh? So this is what I do, uh, literally, uh, literally what I do. So where am I looking to buy now? Um, based on the market, based on this, I am literally looking at whether this level will hold because now it broke above this zone. Ma. So if this zone it will hold, uh, um, when the market rally is like climbing mountain, it's like Mount Everest like that. When you climb up to Mount Everest to summit, right? you don't one shot go from zero sea level to uh, the, the summit. What do you do? You go to the base camp, then you go to camp one, camp two, camp three before you attempt the summit. Same thing, when the market is climbing, you don't expect one shot, one line go up like that. That's, that's probably crypto. Like. It doesn't work like that. Right, for here you need to have certain base camp. You need to go up, okay? Go up, form a camp. Go up, form a camp. Go up, form a camp. Go up. Then now, where's the big big camp? The big big camp is here, lah. So this whole zone, it's a liquidity zone, okay? This whole zone is a liquidity zone, LZ, okay? Not landing zone, ah, liquidity zone. That you know all the demand is you know soaking up right here, and the market looks to be reversing, ah. So are we clear? Are we clear? Okay, so far, are we clear? If you are clear, can you just help me type yes? Uh, Joe, what time does this seminar finish? Well, just now I mentioned it's about one and a half, two hours. If you've got short attention span, go do something else. Go and watch your show, watch your Netflix, watch whatever also can. Yeah, so go, go, go ahead and do that. Okay, no, no worries. Go ahead and do that. Later, you want to come back, you come back. All right. So, okay, uh, so far, clear, uh, everybody. So now, now that the framing is done, I know I want to buy the stock here, right? Then what do I want to do now? Now I know that the market is bullish. Uh, this is where right, we go and find some stocks. Lah. You know, go and, go and find some stocks. So this is where I'm on uh, stockcharts.com. Then weekly chart. Uh, sorry, no, not, not weekly. Uh, this one is a comparative chart based on the sectors. Lah. So sectors over here. Uh, right now, let me see. This rally. Okay, so can we all assume that this rally, um, let's look, look at a few points first. Number one, right, this is September, maybe 1st of September. Uh, we, we, we pick a few objective points. So September, and then the rally ended some, or rather the just drop, la, ended sometime in October. Okay, can we all uh, agree to this? That means September to October, that means the date, lah. Can we all agree to this? That this for the drop, yes or no? If it's yes, can you just let me type yes? Okay, ah, uh, can ah. Uh? Now, um, so what I'm gonna do is I want to find out where are the strongest uh performance, uh, rather the strong performers, right? When the market is tanking, so what I need to do here. It is to pull down to, let me see, ah, 3rd September. Okay, that's where it starts. And then if I were to pull back down to 28, let me add a few more days, lah, maybe 23. Wait. Ah, like that. 
6th of October, somewhere there. So in that same period, right, when the market is tanking, okay, in the same period where the market is tanking, um, where did the market go? The market go 3.7%, okay? The market go down 3.7%. Um, which are the ones that are stronger than the market? That means drop lesser than the market or in fact gain instead of dropping. Can you all tell me when the market is tanking, where are the strong sectors? So I'm going to leave it to you. Where, are, where is it? Can you all fill me the answer? Okay, fill me the answer. Where are the strong sectors when the market is tanking? Uh, energy, of course. Uh, energy, yes, yes. Okay, financials, yes, yes. So we have energy. And then we have financials. Good. Um, we also have discretionary. Very good. So consumer discretionary is over here. So this is discretionary. Okay, good. Um, staples, okay, la, same, same. La, huh? Staples, I wouldn't call them exactly strong. La. It, it literally just came down. Um, healthcare, no, no. Real estate, no, no. Communication services, technology, utilities, materials, industrial, all buang, all tui, okay? All cannot. All this, so I will naturally ignore it. So as I ignore, where is my focus? Uh, staple, staples, no, la. I also ignore, la. same. La. So that's where my focus will be. My focus will be on energy, on financials, on discretionary. So this is when the market is tanking, when the market is tanking. Uh, where to get this colorful bar chart? Uh, later, later I send you the link. Okay. So can we all can we all see this? Can we all see this? These are the strong sectors. So make a guess. How do we find strong companies? Well, um, let me just throw up a few energy counters. Okay. Uh, we were looking at XOP. When the market is tanking, this thing is running mad. We are and, and you see, uh, you see the beauty here. See the beauty, yeah. Uh? We identified this for, what's the period? Uh? 3rd September, 6th October, right? What happened after 6th October? I don't want to show you during that period. Uh, okay, I'll show you after that. After that, a strong sector in a market down, when the market returns up, where does a strong, where does a strong sector go? Go up higher. Uh, something like that. Uh. So trading, easy not? Actually quite easy. Ma. You, you all get what I'm saying? Uh? So trading is actually quite easy. Uh. It, it's really nothing fanciful. It's really just like that. Uh, actually, pretty, pretty much right, quite boring. Uh. Every, every single day for the last 12 years, I've been doing the same thing. So EOG, EOG is one of the stocks that I shared with my students back then. Um, yeah, October, this is going. I was sharing this with Alex as well. Uh, EOG, XOP, I think uh, we have quite a few. We have quite a few. Philip 66, this one, yeah. This one also going up kind of in this area. So it is the same type of technical analysis using stocks, you know, the ideas from here, apply what I've just shown you, and then you'll know where to buy, where to sell already. Ma. So trading is actually very simple. One, ma. So now that you know this, you know, it's, it's a very straightforward approach. Does it make sense? So how many of you learn something tonight? Does it make sense? Is it easy? It, have, have what I shared give you more clarity? Yes or no? If there's more clarity, can you just let me type clarity? If you find value in this, free sharing tonight, can you just help me type value? Can or not? So, okay, lah, huh? so far, never waste all your time, right? Uh, can I? Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, uh, again, uh, if you think I'm wasting your time, then, then don't, don't, don't stay here. Lah. Go, lah. go, go, go. Don't waste time. <laughs> don't waste my time. Don't waste your time. <laughs> so, trading, trading is really uh, quite easy. Lah. Most of the time, or honestly, lah, I think it's people like, you know, it's our mind that want to make it more difficult. Because we, we think that more is better. We think that complication is better. Um, that's not necessarily the case. Simple is good. Straightforward is the best. It's just like, you know, um, Bruce Lee, right? They got a one, in, one inch punch, right? At the end of the day, uh, your job uh, is not to, you know, in those, those, those movies, right? The, those Kung Fu masters like to, Whoa, cha, 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 cha. then after that, Hiya! you know, like, hey, in a real fight, you got all the time to go and do all this pattern, man. All the posturing, man. Don't have, man. In a real fight, which is like when it's in trading, don't do all those fanciful stuff. Lah. Wap yang, just do the easiest way to make money. It's boring as hell. Uh, and it's, it's, it's just very, very, I don't know, close eye and then yeah, just do what you do. <laughs> so 
This is literally what Alex has been showing the whole time in his Facebook Live. This is literally what I'm sharing with my students the whole time. And basically, this is what I do all the time. So trading, it's not difficult. It should not be complicated. It should be straightforward, effective, and efficient. I, I'm a simple person. So this, this is literally what my approach is. Okay. Yes. Yes. Thanks, Viper. I fear not the person that kick 100 times, but the person that kick that one kick the same way 100 times. So yeah, I, in fact, I've done this for more than 1,000 times <laughs> for the last 12 years. Uh, maybe the last five. Lah. First, first few years is blur until like, wow, loud, test this, test that. Try to put on indicators, stack all the indicators and you go, hey, I need more indicators. Uh, then oh, find that confluence. And you know, uh, when that one chance I find all the confluence, right, I lose money. Gonna sigh. <laughs> so basically trading is like that. Lah. Then uh, discretionary, okay? If you look at discretionary, some of the trades that, you know, my, my, my students are caught. Lah. Uh, Disney, we are looking for a very nice, a uh, nice trigger on, on Disney, okay? So if you're looking for a very, very nice trigger on Disney over here, uh, like like over just, just recently, like, just recently, Apple was one, uh, one beaten down stock. Uh, okay, we think that, hey, this one on the daily, uh, you know, we will think daily is done, uh, done and dusted. But if you switch it to weekly, uh, actually you realize that, hey, this drop nothing. Uh, can you all see that this drop is nothing as compared to the previous two times? Can you all see that? So, focus on stocks like this, how I find this kind of stocks, it's literally through this kind of framework law that slowly one by one go and find. Like, there's hard work to do. Like. So one of the questions that I received from my, my, one of my, my students, uh, very interesting. Uh, he said, is there a faster way to do things? Uh, what do you think? <laughs> if there's a faster way of doing things, uh, ob obviously you do it many, many times. You are very familiar with it. Like. Then, then that's where you can... Uh, do things faster. Um, like for us, right? Uh, what we do is every week we will. Uh, I, I will send out a list la, to my to my students. So, so when I send out the list to my students, for example, uh, uh, this is the Facebook group. La. This is the Facebook group for my students. Okay, show you all a little bit of things. Huh? So it, it's a very small community. Uh, so many years, I don't do any advertisements. Uh, I don't have any preview. So you won't be able to watch me doing the selling preview. There is no way that you will catch me doing advertisements for swim trading for my staff uh, because that's just something that I don't do. So how do I get all the students? Uh, or refer law friends or friends law, wherever that you know me from. Lah, huh? So uh, every week, right? Uh, this, this, this question, uh, okay, I, I don't want to show the name. Not so nice. So it asks, can, can, is there a better way to find uh, the stocks? Well, I say have. Lah. You, how, how else do you think uh, we create this list every week. You think we don't need to spend time on it? Immediately, wow, close to I, I have a feeling out of the 6,800 stock, I got this five to trade. Wow, I need time one. Leh. Hello. <laughs> so trading is really like that. Lah. So if you're looking to get rich quick, uh, my honest opinion, don't, don't get into trading. Lah. Do something else. Lah. You, you go, go and do crypto, go and gamble, go and whatever. You get the fun out of it also. But if you want to... Um, find a surefire way, uh, I mean, a, a slow and steady way to have another skill set. Uh, this is something that Alex has done it successfully. I've done it successfully. Um, a couple of, you know, the traders who I know, they're doing it successfully. So it can, it definitely can be done. So that's the baseline. It can be done. You must believe. And your approach is refine. La. You really need to refine along, uh, along the way. La. Okay. So far, is it clear with everybody? If it's clear, awesome. Can you just have me type awesome? Can or not? Can or not? So far, okay, not. Does it does it does it make sense or does it resonate with you? Not what I say. Uh, do I draw the same lines? Anna, Anna is asking. Do I draw the same lines? Uh, yes, I do draw the same lines on and on the stocks as well. Okay, so it does does what I share. Like like I say, like, it's a very raw sharing, lah. I, I didn't plan for anything. Uh, literally just to come here share with you my framework. It's a very raw sharing. Is it okay so far? Is it okay with everybody? Are you all getting value? Have or not? So once again, are you happy? If you're happy to be here, can you just type happy? Clear, clear. Wow, oh, Stephen. Zen mode already. La. Clear like water. Got peace in the mind already. Ah, turn for it, turn for it. Attain Buddha. <laughs> you, sorry. <laughs> so uh, this is on October. October 2nd. Okay, October 2nd, which is just last week. La. In fact, uh, just not too long ago. La. October 2nd was here. La. So right near the bottom, Right near the bottom, I tell you where, where, where the interesting is. Uh, interesting thing is, uh, October the 
second. Uh, this is on a Saturday, ma, so I posted this. 4th of October, which is the Monday. La. So we have Apple Weekly. Okay, so this is a weekly swing under the TBB swing strategy. So this is the trigger. La. You know, just now I talk about I talk about the framework, right? So I said uh we need to have a macro perspective. Then after that, we need to know our obstacle, our challenges. That means where do we find out the stocks? La. Then after that, we have key levels. Then subsequently, we need to have a trigger. Okay, so these are the four steps that we discussed just now. Are we all clear with the four steps? Can you all remember? Can you all start to see the four steps now? If you can see, can you just help me type number four? Help me type number four. <laughs> My webinar is a lot better than McDonald's Value Meal. <laughs> Thank you. Uh. <laughs> but you compare me to McDonald's Value Meal, I become very sad. <laughs> My daughter will be very happy. I will be sad. Okay, so uh, why don't hold through earnings? Uh? Uh, because the stock will jump up, will jump down, will jump, 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 jump all, all over the place. Uh, so it's a 50-50. It's I don't like things that are coin toss. If I want to do a coin toss, I'll well, go to the casino and gamble. Right? It's, like, it's a coin toss with calculated odds or more, right? So don't hold position through earnings. Hey, please, uh, please. Uh, whatever I show you now here, uh, okay, this list is not the latest one. Uh. So uh, I cover a bit. Uh, latest one, give my student only. Uh. So uh, don't, don't, don't just go and buy anyhow close to while on Lamboy. Uh. Don't, don't anyhow buy. Uh. Uh, buy already, right? You make money, find me. Okay, you lose money, you find Alex. <laughs> Can I poke? Sorry. <laughs> okay, so like Apple, right? Apple Weekly. Um, this was the, the list that we sent out uh, on, on Saturday itself. So on every week, like every week without fail, and my, my team, myself, will send out this list to our students uh, via the Facebook group. So over here, we have a uh, second, okay? On the second, we have determined that. So here is the second. It's, it's very soon. That's why I say this year, very hang, you know? Uh, second, where is second? Second is somewhere here, uh, first second. Uh. So this is the weekend. Uh. So this is that candle. Uh. This is that candle. I tell you, uh, this one cannot be more soon than this. Eh? That's why I say, Yes, I have a framework, but there's another intangible part, which is called luck. Lah. But before the luck kicks in, right, you need to have a set of strategies. Then after that, uh, luck or no luck, don't know, lah, depend on you. Lah, oh. So maybe because my hair higher, so I got more luck, maybe. So pretty much like that. Lah, oh. So this is on the 2nd of October. Hey, you don't really cannot more tune in. This is really bottom of the bottom. So we had a trigger, and then after that, it, it just went up. Lah. Uh, get in price is about 140. Uh, that time I was getting in price for 140, just a couple of days, uh, then it reached uh, 146. Uh. So this is what we, we do. Uh, yes, yes, the last step. Uh, so after the trigger, thank you. Uh, thanks, Stephen, for reminding me. Uh, then after the trigger, right, you have a framework ADI. Uh, please, the last step is go and pray. Pray for good luck, okay? Can everybody type pray? Can or not? How come this guy talk so much rubbish? <laughs> Are you sure? Do all your homework first. Luck is important, on okay? You do all your homework first. Ah, then the rest is out of your control. That's called luck. I believe in taking control of uh, what we can control. Things we cannot control after I click buy or sell, honestly, ah, it's all luck really. Because at any one point in time, scandal can come out. Accounting fraud can come out. The, the Jerome Powell can say, I want to raise interest rate tomorrow, then die. Lah. So all these are out of our control. What is within our control is these four steps over here. After we have the four steps, the rest literally just go and pray for your good luck. Seriously. So like that, law. Okay. So the four steps are here. Is it clear with everybody? Is it clear with everybody? So now the last step here, it's trigger. Can I share with you one set of trigger as well? One set of trigger. Is it okay that I take some time to share with you one step of trigger? That means one set of entry strategy and rules that I have and I teach my students. Is it okay that I share that? Uh, very quickly, Jan, very quickly. This is just, you, you just go and see, you go and decide and whatever. I'm not going to pressure you to do anything. Is it okay? If it's okay for the trigger for me to display this, to share with you more, can you just type okay? Can you type yes? Okay. It's going to take only 10 minutes. I assure you 10 minutes. Can I? Okay. Uh, can I? Thanks. Okay. So for... The trigger itself, right? Like uh, this is the same strategy that most of my students are using as well. Like, so you can see Apple, right? Are they all very happy? Are they all very happy? You see, uh, see, I caught Apple, I caught Nike. You see, this is my so <laughs> so this is another student. I caught Apple, uh, yeah. So why uh this is another one? I caught Apple. Oh, then uh, like what queer? Then I all catch, 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 catch. Then end up I only get all the oranges. 
So how you can get this trigger, right? Um, this trigger itself, I teach it in my e-course. So this e-course is the TP Swing Masterclass. Just now I asked when, uh, how many of you are my students? I think some of you are enrolled in this e-course already. Lah. So this e-course is an entirely online e-course itself to address these few questions. Lah. Basically, you know, just now what I've displayed to you in the technical analysis portion, it is all put up nicely, you know, all properly delivered in this e-course itself. So it addresses questions like, what if you buy, you drop, you're trading the right size or not? What is considered a good price for you to enter? Because price is very important. How do you determine the key levels? These are what, uh, just now in a demo to you, you see like, wow. Uh, so learn how to do it. Like, I mean, if you've got the interest to, uh, in e-course is something that I teach in detail. How do you identify this? What is right? What is you know not so right? Things like that. How do we tell where the turning points are? Entirely covered. So this course, um, this this TBB String Master Class, right? The trigger. Uh, so you know, just now we talk about the four steps, right? Uh, we have the community support, things like that. The trigger. So here we are looking at the trigger. The trigger it is a rule based entry. That means. I have an indicator, which is called a value zone. So this value zone indicator, it's a lifetime, no subscription. It's all available for my students to use. Rule-based, that means it is clear-cut, black and white, where you enter, where you exit, things like that. So I have a definite uh, entry price. I have a definite stop-loss price as well. So it's all built in within this strategy itself. And it can be applied to mostly stocks. Um, crypto, I'm trying to use it as well have some form of efficiency on certain uh, tokens, okay? So on crypto, but mostly the bread and butter or what I'm focusing in this delivery uh, is on stocks itself, okay? So this e-course, right? It is, like I said, uh, it's an e-course. Uh, so it's 100% online e-course. And I got to highlight this to you. Uh, this is the last time I am opening for intake in 2021. This is the last time, maybe. no more, okay? This is the last time I'm going to do it. So if you miss this, then, then no more, lah, okay? So it's 100% online e-course. Now, you may be also thinking, gee, very funny, eh? since it's e-course, ah, why do I say last intake? Uh, like that, lor. <laughs> my, my November, December, I just want to re 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 relax, already, chill, already, okay? So uh, this is the last time, already, last time I'm opening up. And this e-course itself, right, it allows you to have 27, 24-7 access. Lah. That means you are able to learn it at your own pace, okay? Meaning you enroll, what you do is you will get access. So once you enroll, okay, later I show you the link. Lah, okay, so you enroll, you will get access. Once you get access, you learn it at your own comfort. Lah, okay, you can like much eat Netflix like that. Lah, uh, eat Netflix, eat popcorn and watch Netflix like that. Okay, so the strategy, the trigger, it is all properly back tested. Meaning I, I am a very gassy person. Lah, so things I do, I like to test out whether has it been working before. Because things that doesn't work at all, right? I, I don't count it on it working just like that, you know? It must have done before. This trigger must have made sense before. And then today, when I use this trigger, then at least I got some confidence, uh, some conviction. Uh. How many of you agree with this confidence and conviction? How many of you think that this is important? Can you type me in the chat? Um, seen what? Online means playing playback from recording. Uh, yes, yes. This is... Uh, yeah, and all the lessons, right, are all cut into literally bite sizes. So when I say rule-based, the trigger itself, right, over the last 10 years, uh, uh, don't get me wrong, uh, it's not going to get you rich, like get rich quick. Uh. You know, get rich quick, go casino, go somewhere else. Uh, huh? For me, it's a, it's a very, I, I would say it's more consistent. Uh, consistency is the key because the win rate this year has been pretty quite okay. Uh, pretty okay. So if, if I can show you some of the things that my student has done, right, uh, this is, let me just zoom in a little bit. Uh. Let me just zoom in a little bit. I think some of you, uh, this is one of my students. I, I hide the name, I hide the name. Okay, I see, you all see already. <laughs> so this is August, 2021, uh, when he first joined in two, three months back. Lah. So he, he did it uh, with practice trades, total 21 trades following all the strategy. It is pretty in line with what I have back tested. So this is August, 2021. Total trades, 21, uh, positive eight, 17, 81%. Lah. That means 17 make money, three go sideways, one lose money. Lah. Which at the end of the day, I think, Okay, la, just like that. Like, like exactly like I said. La. Okay, I'm not going to promise you what 100% win rate. Uh, that one, you go find somebody else. Maybe money game, maybe scam, maybe whatever. La, uh, that one, not me. I can't do that. Uh, if you know somebody like that and it's confirming money, one, uh, please, please intro to me also. I, I think Alex and I will be very interested. So this is literally a real community, a small community of traders. And 
Yeah, lo, literally, we are just using the trigger. Lah, oh? We are just using the trigger. So very quickly, yeah, just, just like that. Uh, the swing strategies that you'll be learning, right? It's uh, how do you swing the trade for a few days, a few weeks with a definite profit target. I think that's important. A lot of us, right? We do not know how to take profit, meaning we know how to buy. We know how to buy a strong stock. Then the stock, stock go up already. Then we don't take. Okay, then we don't take already. Then after the stock shh, shh, come down. Then after that, you trigger your stop loss. Once you trigger your stop loss, already, then the thing go back up. How many of you have got this experience this year? Can you type me in the chat? So that's why the profit target uh, is inbuilt into the strategy. La. It's quite important. Uh, at least I feel as important. La. You need to know how to take off the money that you've really made. You need to know how to lock in. You don't know how to lock in, then harvest, la. you give back. You everything earn already, you give back. And then for what? You do charity. Uh. <laughs> right or not? Okay, so if uh, is it going to take you a lot of time? Uh, probably not, but you do need some time uh, to go and key in the order, to go and learn, uh, and, and you probably free out one day or two days over the weekend, you know, to go and learn it. And then you are able to apply it. Even you have a full-time job. Most of my students have a full-time job. And if you're a beginner, good, because I start all the way from, uh, you know, what's the stock market all the way until the trigger. If you're advanced, I think the trigger itself will give you another dynamic, lah, all right, An another dimension of how you can be taking a trade. Lah. So in terms of the strategy itself, right, uh, what is encompassed, you know, what is within this e-course? I dare to say one thing, lah. I pride myself on giving value. For a course, right, that is an e-course and I would say it's quite lowly priced, Nobody, I assure you, uh, I, because I attended many, many calls, uh, nobody is going to cover the head to the tail of all the whole stock market and teach you everything. Uh. So it's a standalone course. There's no subscription. You use the strategy itself. It will work one. Okay. Everything is here. So you can see it's a very comprehensive coverage of what I do in the market and things like that. So it's not, uh, I think some of you are very used to the commercial model. Uh, yeah, your, this one, huh, just intro only. Then later you sell me something else, sell me something else. This is not my style, okay? Ask my students. Don't believe, go and ask my students. This is not my style. Uh, Alex is in this as well. So he, he, he knows what I do. La. So I don't like upsell, upsell, upsell. I, uh, sell, uh. I don't make money this way. La. I got my way of making money. So what you are going to get, right? With this e-course itself, the whole key, uh, it's the graduates Facebook group. Uh. This is what you will get. The weekly list, it will be inside the Facebook group. This is a Telegram channel. Uh, this one, I, would, I, I, I wouldn't count on this, but it is the key here is the Facebook group because that's where the community comes in. That's where if you ask me questions after the e-course, I continue to stay engaged with you. It is all through this Facebook group. So I think this is the key. And why I dare to say I'm giving very, very good value because um, nobody charges a price like this, right? And then uh, still maintain the community. You know, how much I'm doing charity. Are there? So really, really, from the bottom of my heart, I dare to say so is because I've done my market research. I've done many other courses as well. Lah. So this is literally what you're getting yourself into. Lah. And I'm not going to bore you about this testimonial. What's going on? Lah? You know what I do. You know what I do. Lah. You don't know, then, then, don't, then, then I'm a scam. Lah. Okay, lah. don't care. Lah. Okay, so practically this is what I do. I think I've been here for, some of you have known me for quite, quite a while already. Yeah, following me for quite a while. So this is literally what I do. So to get access, uh, this is really what I teach in the TBB Swing Master class. Once you enroll, you will get all these things. Okay, you will get this portal. You will get in. Um, how do you use trading view? Uh, trade the what swing course the 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 causes. Okay, the module one, all the way. Okay, the lesson one all the way until lesson twenty one. So it's a comprehensive standalone course, and everything else that you require. Okay, which is for example lesson fourteen, the TPP swing strategy, the trigger. Okay, the trigger, all the indicators are in here. So using trading view, no subscription required. Hey, really one time. Uh, people keep asking me like, as if, hey, really, uh, really one time, uh, really, uh, really, really, yeah, yeah, really, 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 one time only. So how much is it going to cost you? Should you have the interest to learn how I do the trigger? Okay. Uh, for today, right? For today uh, as an extension with the ATF, because I know that time, quite a number of us, we didn't have the time because I, I, I took up most of the time for my ATF slot. Lah. So uh, I need to stress out. Something ah, uh, it is a one time payment. One time. Uh, but of course, you want to pay me subscription for no reason, then okay. I, I take skin, uh, I take uh, okay. One time payment. And so I say it's a very affordable price, standalone e cost. And today, what I'll be throwing in for you as well, right? It's two live trading sessions. So live trading session meaning it's you 
complete it within, you know, like the next two weeks, um, I will give you, uh, invite you to a live trading session that is for the swing, uh, this e uh, TPP e-course uh, students. Lah. So when is this going to happen? Uh, the live trading should be on 1st and 15th. Uh, the 1st of November and 15th of November. That's when it is. Lah. So we got a good two to three weeks before the first live trading session. Um, you're going to get an e-course. You're going to get a weekly trade list. Everything that all this, right, they are in the Facebook group. That's what you get lifetime. So that's why I say I'm doing charity. Uh, so this, this is what you do. And then you got a link here. You want to sign up. Please remember one thing. Please, if you are signing up, please remember to use the promo code, Ken. Because if you don't use the promo code, you'll be paying me 697 not that I don't like money, but the thing is, if you can pay me a cheaper price, you pay the cheaper price. Don't pay me a higher price, okay? So, ATF 2021. Can, so, this is how you get the trigger. So, today, what have we discovered? We discovered uh, how do we go from a macro point of view. Then, after that, how to find the stocks. You know, we look for where the strong sectors are. All of these are all covered entirely in detail uh, inside um, the e-course itself, right? Then, followed by the trigger, the key levels. And then, finally, um, how do I set the order to buy, to sell, and things like that. Yeah, so Anna, do I attend other courses? Uh, yes, no, of course not recently. Lah. Recently, like that, I go attend other courses. People are like, hey, why this guy is here? This is going to be funny. I also need to learn somewhere, right? I paid so much money to learn, you know, in, in the starting of the, uh, besides the books, lah. you can see behind me, you got to read a lot of books, right? I also attend other, other courses. Lah. Not convenient to me to name who they are. Some are really good. Some are really just commercialized. I myself as a consumer also a bit big take, right? Well, now I go for this, you upsell me this, you upsell me that. Wow, I'm very tan. Wow, I'm So I've decided that this is not something that I want to do. Uh, for me, it's very simple deal. One time you think it can help you, you come, you think it cannot help you, then uh, I thank you for your time. Lo. Pretty much it says like that. Oh, so this is my style. Uh, I think I think all of you, some of you can see me for two, three times or at least four, five times. My, my style is like that. La. I'm a straight shooter. La. I don't like to, hey, oh, I'm very, I'm very so big, eh. so, so much fun like that. Uh, pretty much like that. Uh, see, I tell you, got people will ask one. <laughs> okay, let me cancel away all this. Cancel away all this. Please look here, 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 here. Ah, uh, here. One time, one time. Please, one time. <laughs> I, I cancel, 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 cancel. I make sure cancel. <laughs> don't, don't look on top, okay? Please. <laughs> yes, uh, SGD, la, yes, la. Uh, S, S, then dollar sign. La. Uh, you you want to give me USD, can one? I thank you only. <laughs> SGD. So, uh, Kev, uh, thank you. Recommend newbies to go if you are keen. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Adeline, lifetime, you can revise again. Yeah, you can keep seeing me and hearing me until I think you close your eye, my, my face will pop out. Then, uh, okay, that one's a bit creepy, lah, but yeah, to that extent, yes. <laughs> um, the focus is on US market because US market is the most dynamic, but you can apply it to Hong Kong, can apply it to Singapore. Singapore, the one, uh, Singapore, then boring. Uh, Malaysia can. Malaysia recently, the market uh, good looking, uh, looking to pick up. Uh, Singapore market, uh, as a Singaporean, I see a very sad, like a retirement home. People go up, the thing go, go sideways, go down. People go down, right? the thing drops some more. So Singapore, I, I don't know what they do. I think they buy reeds and hole and sleep and I don't know. <laughs> so can you apply this to Indian market? Honestly, I have not done so. Um, some of my students, yes, they are a small minority from India. I do not know whether they are applying to India or the US. I can't say something that I don't know. Okay, I don't want to tell you can. Uh, yeah, but I'm pretty sure for all stocks, as long as there's a, the, the stock can move one. Uh, don't be like Singapore, go sideways one. Those can move one. Yes, you can apply. Uh, those that go sideways one, you, you don't bother. Uh, you, you buy for what? Uh, KK Chong. Uh, uh, okay, so can you need to go through the whole e-course before you trade live? Okay, in, once you enroll, right, in the next few days, my team will send out an email to you. We will highlight there will be certain lessons that it will be good for you to complete it before you come for the live, which is going to take like one hour of your time. If you go through that lesson, two, two, three lessons, it's going to take one hour of your time. So if you can commit to me this one hour, I make sure I can deliver more value to you in the live trading session. It's all, it all, is just, it's all I ask is like that. Oh, I can open the door for you. I can't walk the journey for you. The journey is you, you want, you walk. If you don't want, I can't push you. Because I already walked this journey. I already seen the fruit. I already tasted the fruit. So it's really now your turn. It, whether you want it, you want one, then don't want, don't want, like that. Okay, so, so far, okay. Clear. Um, how often is this booster webinar? Okay, this one I must say first, this is ad hoc. Really, really ad hoc. That means when there are market, you know, key updates for the market, 
uh, then then I will do a Facebook live inside my graduates only Facebook group. Okay, graduates only Facebook group. So uh, this is really ad hoc. I I'll be upfront first. I'll be upfront because uh, for me, please, I also understand that this is a very very um nominal um registration. It's a very very nominal price. You know, uh, I I can't. I, I'm not doing this for charity. Uh, it's just to compensate for my time and effort. Pretty much like that. But uh, apart from this, I'm not asking thousands and this, which wow, they have what wow, every week got this, got that. Uh, I, 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 I get more productivity trading the market. Lah. Let me just put it this way. Lah. Okay, so uh, where to enter the promo code? Oh, this is interesting. I've never seen this question before. <laughs> uh, yo, let me go back. Ah. Let, me, let, me, let me find. Ah. Um, so if I were to come here, right? You go to bit.ly. So bit.ly slash tpb cost. TPB cost, I enter. Okay, so I entered this. Then you will go to enroll now. Okay, so once you enroll now, then it will jump to this area. So once you are jumped to this area, they will be asked for, of course, the billing information for me to identify you. Please give me a valid email, okay? Don't, don't give me what ninja turtle at gmail.com that kind of law cannot find you one. Okay, so what's the... What's the coupon code? The, the coupon code is ATF2021. Okay, ATF2021. Please apply. You can see there's a red arrow there. You click apply and then this becomes 397. Okay, please remember to apply. And pretty much like that. So this, once again, last intake, um, I have, I, I, I think I make the coupon code 20. Uh, there is a, I already preset already. So this time, this promotion, it's only valid for 20 tickets okay 20 promo codes only so if you can get in then good for you you cannot get in then uh i i i just say i'm sorry first yeah okay because this uh this is the last time i'm running this for for this year lah. no I, i'm not gonna open for november december because um i i would i don't have the time and i don't want to go and do the live trading when it's closer to the holidays i just want to spend time with my family all right uh can I ask questions where is the graduates facebook group inside the portal you will see everything yes of course can ask questions and i always entertain all questions yeah, but of course, like, if you ask me things like hey, what you had for lunch yesterday, I, I, I give you a thumbs up. Uh, that's all I have, how I answer. Lah. Okay, so pretty much just like this. Uh, when class start? Helen, uh, 24-7 OTOT, once you enroll, you can start whenever you start. Okay, it's a it's an e-course, e-course, e-course. Okay, once you go in, you start yourself already. Okay, uh. Uh, can this strategy be automated by bot? Um, I don't know how to answer this. Eh. If it can, I think I will also want to go and do it. Uh. <laughs> I think I I I think can lah. Uh, you if you are programming background, I'm not lah. So if you are, maybe you you try it. You let me know, can. <laughs> okay, so that's all I have for you. Uh, thanks, Alex. Uh, back to you. All right. So thank you, Jay, for your wonderful session. So he just a very quick recap over here. So Jay show you the big picture. You know, you drew down right how to see the the daily, weekly trend of the market, and then you know, subsequently you determine the trend and then you draw a trend line and such. So I, I, I think this is a very, very valuable sharing on how he, he draw the trend line. So he doesn't show how he draw the trend line in a lot of his sessions. This is one of the uh, few sessions. Okay, so if you, if you caught it today, <laughs> good for you, all right? So if there's any question regarding the uh, TBB swing course, do ask them in the chat or, or in the uh, Q&A. It is fine. So meanwhile, we'll go through some of the Q and A question first, okay? Because we promise that we we'll answer the Q and A. Yes. So of course, uh, with Jay, I'm always very relaxed uh, because he's, he he know what to do uh, So he know where to look at the Q and A tab uh, So I need to lie, boy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So guys, uh, so you 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 can see the Q and A tab, right? If you want us to answer the question, you know, if you see a question that you really want Jay to answer. Please upvote those questions so we'll know which one to answer first. And of course, Jay has already mentioned a few of the uh, questions already answered already. Mm. So, okay, so remember to upvote and we'll pause for maybe a few seconds to see yep. which are the questions that's been upvoted the most. All right, so Kenny, number one question, right? What it is the time frame you use for the pivot <laughs> points? Alex, you want to answer this? I think you more you I better think, Kenny, at least. Uh, you, you didn't watch my Facebook live. Is it? <laughs> Doesn't matter, okay. Of course, this is not my session, all right. Okay, I think Jay, you answer the question. Okay, so uh the question is okay, wait, 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 wait. Let, let me just get out of this slide once and for all. Uh last two questions for that. Mm. Anna is asking which one is 20 packs. Uh sorry, this coupon extra minus 300 dollars right? This I only have 20 
number or uh, 20 number of coupons. So if you go to the website, you key in, they tell you not valid means no more already. Okay, so this is the 20, what I'm mentioning. Uh, Vaughn, must I subscribe to any charting or trading view? You don't have to. The free one can use. Although the free one, uh, you, you don't have to put on so many indicators. Uh, the free one, the only thing I find is irritating is the is the advertisement. Uh. So you, yeah, you want to sign, you don't assign, that's your problem with them, not with mine. But without the subscription, free one also can use. Okay, this is something I'm very, very confident because all, not all my students go and sign on. Uh. Some, they really like it, they use it, then they go and sign. Okay, so let me get out of this slide first. Uh. Let me get out of this slide. Uh. Okay, uh, guys, everyone clear? Uh. Now, uh, back to the chart, right? What is the time frame that I'm using for my pivot um, on trading view? I think it's the same as Alex. Uh. Uh, we use auto. So what is auto? Auto is uh, when it's daily chart. When your daily chart, you are using the monthly pivot. Okay, the monthly pivot. When it is weekly time frame, then it switches over to the year. Sorry, the yearly pivot. So it's auto in that sense. So uh, most of the time, D is monthly. Yeah, that's that's the hopefully Kenny uh, answer your question. Uh Darren, discount code not valid anymore. I don't know. Like you, you, you try later. Okay, later, later. Let me answer the question first. Okay. The cost one later, guys. Guys, I want to answer your question. Okay, answer your question first. So can anyone done? Um, to confirm, I'm waiting for S and P five hundred to retest the pivot point, the trend line, to confirm that the uptrend is continuing. Um, yes, yes. In that sense, you see the uptrend. It's is there already? Okay, this uptrend is there already. You 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 open one eye, close one eye. You also can see it's uptrend. But the only thing is, it's not the right price to be buying now. Why? Because if you buy here. And then after that, let's say I chase the high lah. For whatsoever reason, I buy here today lah. Then after that, it come back down ah. What you do ah? What you can't jong eh? Then it come down some more, which is perfectly fine. Ah. still uptrend ah. Then it reaches this level. Oh, you I cut, I cut, I cut. Then you cut loss eh? You know, I haven't go back up again. Why you angry? You pluck out your hair. So that's why I say I want to wait for a base camp to form first lah. And I am hoping that this area, uh, which is what ha has been denoted by my technical analysis. Uh, this area 4467 zone, uh, zone uh. so it's about 4465 uh, plus minus a bit. This zone it's going to hold first. Uh, if it's going to hold, then good. Then if it cannot hold, right? Then I will, mm, I think I never buy that. You get what I'm saying? So this year, every time you buy high, uh, you 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 can't jump a big one, right? You buy high, break out your stop loss here, trigger your stop loss, it fly back up angry, <laughs> right? How many times that happened this year? Eh? Same thing, ma. You break out, buy, come down, flush out, stop loss. Break out, high, buy, flush out, stop loss. So it's like, you, you after seven, eight times, you still don't learn this year, then something is wrong. Lah. <laughs> something happened to me. Ah. The first three months, I'm like, why this market like that one? Ah? Well, last year so different, last year so easy. Ah, so must react. Lor. So yeah, that's that's what, uh, yeah, hopefully I answer just your question. To answer uh, Darren first, you say that discount code is uh, not valid anymore. So just now, actually, uh, I know Jay's team. Uh, so Jay's team mentioned, uh, hmm. message asked, and you say the, the coupon code actually stand up 20 packs very fast. Uh. So actually, we his team tried to add in another uh, one five, one five, last one already, one five. Okay, okay. So uh, I think right now should work if it doesn't really mean yes. another 15 has, snap, has snapped up already. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, uh, so do uh, register using the coupon code and try again. It should, it should work it for now. Should 15, for uh, 15 now. or 1, 5. Huh? All right, so back to okay. the question again. So Irvin is asking, right? Hi, Jay, do you think we can buy Tesla after uh, the test ran up? Okay, Jay, Tesla, $1, Tesla, $1, Tesla recently, uh, this kind of trend, uh, and, and I think I can speak for both Alex and myself. Usually when we see this kind of trend, right? We'll be like, hmm, don't buy now lah. Why are you when you consolidating? Don't want to buy. You you wait until run and you like that, then you can buy. Mm. Then you buy up there, then end up, you know what happened? Buy buy, then thing come down, then trigger your stop loss, then you stress. Then some more Tesla so high price. 870, uh, drop to 800. I think you you very pain, you know. <laughs> if you got 10 shares, uh, if you drop $70, it's $700 down already. Eh. So that's, that's why, yeah, I always say, you know, I've been doing my Facebook live, right? Uh, like what Jay mentioned one to two weeks ago when it's consolidating, you don't want to buy. Now you buy it's TMP, yeah. I always call it my Facebook. So Tao Nao Pai. So as I mentioned, right, Jay will teach you how to you know, really enter, find a good spot to trigger, yeah. where to enter. So you see, mm -hmm. the reason why asking this question means that you most likely you haven't entered, right? You want to chase, right? So mm -hmm. uh during this uh in the PPP course, Jay will 
teach you, you know, how to enter at a sweet spot when price it is about to run. But yeah. haven't run yet, uh, about to run. Uh. All this, right. This one cannot. Uh. This one don't. Uh. Yeah. You already hit here. Then now you buy, you literally buying high <laughs> and then maybe you will sell low. Buy high, sell low. Then you lose money. <laughs> okay. Um, Steven. Steven is asking. All right. Mm. Uh, as we buying stock, shouldn't we plot the chart on S and P or just like you mentioned this, you did answer yeah, this question already, really, right? Answer okay, this. Answer yeah. it. Using the futures. I use the futures. Uh, because the futures and the S and P 500 itself, right? The points are, there's the point as in the movement will be up and up, you know, up together, down together, but the absolute point is slightly different, but the chart itself looks the same one. Uh, chart itself looks the same. Hmm. I think Tan HK asking a very good question. All right. What are the indication that one can take note that you no know, once the sector or uh, is ending soon, the sector is ending soon. Sector ah, is ending okay. Soon. So, uh, if you use the top down approach, right? You know, just now like this. Uh, if you look at now this rally from fourth October till now, lah. Okay, fourth October till now. Um, uh, of course, in the in in the e course, I I will share with you the top down approach, lah. So you can see over here from the 1st October all the way until where it is now. Um, which are the ones that are stronger than the market? Discretionary energy again, then you have materials, then you got industrial. Uh, all this will change. Right? So how do we know? We need to spend um, probably, at least myself, I spend about 15, 20 minutes a week at least lah, or during the weekend. I go and see, oh, how has it changed from last month uh, or right, last week to this week? So it's an ongoing process. Ah. It doesn't mean that one time, wah, you mean it will go forever. No, la, don't work like that. Huh? So every week there's, there's constant um, some effort. La. And this is what I do after I do it. You know, I pick out the stocks and that's why you know, I save my students some time. La, send, them, send them the lease. La. So value add law, save you time law. Pretty much you pay me is to save you time. La, pretty much like that. Then let me just put it very crudely. La. If you join a community, pretty much it's just to save you time by we coming up the lease. And yeah, just, just like that. Law. So how do we know? You need a monitor. One. Really need a monitor. No shortcut one, no shortcut one. Okay, done. Uh, is there any indicator I wish? Uh, I wish. Then, then that will be called the giant hot quay indicator. Then I don't need work already. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I think we answered this, Dennis, one. I think quite interesting question, right? Dennis mm. uh, Wing Zheng Hong, okay? So if earnings is in early November, should we trade the stock now or wait? Because I think right now we are in the earnings season already. So a lot of stocks are yeah, you know, within the next one week or two is that into the earnings report already. So should we trade the stock now or wait? Okay, so like for example, this is Textron. One of the stock that I'm looking at, Textron, uh, not yet having the movement I want. Um, earnings is on 28. 28 is like next Thursday. So the questions that I'll be asking myself, right, in order to answer this question uh, is number one, how long do I think I estimate like, how long do I think it's going to hit my target profit? So for example, if over here, I intend to come up, you know, if I were to get in somewhere here, if I want to get out somewhere then, assuming, assuming, okay? Um, usually, let me see how long. If it can be two days, you know, you look at this, it can be two days. It can be also some 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 days when it's really trending, uh, it can be two, three days. Sometimes when it's grinding, what piang, you just now, you buy that and you wait two, three weeks before, you know, you go. So, it is always, uh, there is no, no black and white, but in this case, there is always a estimated or I would say a very educated, informed decision uh, that knowing that, let's say for Textron, I'm looking to buy. Earnings is in next Thursday. So how many trading days I have? I have three plus four, three plus four, I got seven trading days. So I need to ask myself, in seven trading days, can I go up? So if I die, let's say I want to buy, uh, what can I do? Think of the instrument that helped me achieve this, which includes... If you're using CFD, you have something called guaranteed stop loss. If you are using options, you can do a spread. You can do uh, whatever, la, long call, whatever, la, whatever that you are familiar with. La. So for Alex and I, we, we use options. We use CFDs. We buy the underlying shares. Or so so um, all the tools, not that one is better than the other. It's all dependent on the situation and the context. Then we decide, hey, I think in this case, this is better, that is better. So there's nothing fixed one. So I'm not trying to tie to your answer, but the fact is really nothing is fixed one. It's all a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, I, I copy government. You know, government always like to say, ah, case-by-case. Case uh, this is exactly what I mean. Case-by-case. Uh, case right? Yeah. So, so in short, uh, do you mean that you will not enter, you will not hold it 
or the earnings? I don't want to hold over earnings. Why? Because I can a few times. I, I, I make use of this example. This is one that I really can <laughs> Until I'm like, oh, why? Why like that? Why oh, angry? I don't angry. <laughs> I, I show you a verse. <laughs> so now, uh, let's, let me hide all the lines. Guys, can you all tell me whether this chart like that, right? If you look at Twitter, don't care the time frame. Can you all tell me, is this a strong movement? If you think that this is a strong movement, can you type strong in the chat? Can you just let me type strong in the chat? Strong, right? Very strong, correct? So why don't trade over earnings? Now let me zoom in. Uh. See, uh, strong. Uh. Wow, before earnings, go up some more. Uh. Uh, very strong stock. Uh. You see what happened during earnings? Go, go. Suddenly, doom, come down. What piang? Imagine uh, out of nowhere. Uh. It's like as if out of nowhere, somebody just run past you and give you a tight slap. It's like, Oi! What happened? Why you slap me? <sighs> like that, law. So this is why, you know, when you when your market closes here and then you open, uh, once the market open, you're down 15%. Eh. Over the next two days, right? Over the next two days, uh, no matter how strong your movement is, right? Over the next two days, you lose about 25%, which that erases how long? Uh? Um, all the way here to here. How long? 30, 51 days. That's about two months. It erases two months of movement just by that one earnings. That's why I rather be safe than sorry. That's why you say if I if you want to trade over earnings, right? Use a guaranteed stop loss. Use a GSL. Use uh, options because there's a limited loss. You know that there's a fixed loss, lah. Use instruments like these to help you. If not, nah, you only can get out after the gap. Then you like, wah, piang eh, nah. And then you're angry. Then you lose money. Then you ah yeah, this some bluff people one. Hey, the fact is, uh, after you get triggered out, right? You know what happened? Hey, you go back out. Oh. Angry, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I should not have. But at that point of time, you think about that realistically. Lah, realistically. In hindsight, everybody is a genius. But in real time, you feel good, man. You see your position down 25%. In real time, do you feel good? You don't feel good. You don't feel good. You feel fear. You feel uh, maybe fear, greed, pain, whatever, emotions. Then you lose money. Lah. You cut loss. Lah. Then you cut loss eh, and then come out. Then you curse and swear. Hi, yeah, I should not have. Ayo, if I can say so, oh, hi ya, 2010, that time after army, I should buy Bitcoin. Now I don't even work already, I'm a billionaire. Right or not? It doesn't work this way. La. So it's all about emotions. It's about being very real to us and dealing with this. La. These are the things that even experienced traders like Alex, myself, we, we, we face this all the time. Like, hey, how are, how are, should or should not? La. Ah, okay, la, okay, la, okay. La. We, we do this. La. Then there, there's a stop loss. Uh, that's it. If we lose, we lose. We don't lose, then then good lah. Lucky lah. Like I said, do all the homework already, then the rest is luck. Okay. Uh, Robert, uh, uh, you're a very slow learner. Can you catch up? Any spoon feed or guide me on a trade? I think the lessons, oh, I, I assume you're referring to the e class, the, the e course. Uh, number one, you can watch it many times. Uh, if you're a slow learner, don't, don't be afraid of this. I have got retirees. In fact, quite a number of them. I think 70 years old also have. Uh, any spoon feed? Spoon, spoon, spoon feed by this law. I, I save you time. Law. <laughs> as long as you know how to do the trigger, I save you time. Oh, that, that, that's the extent I can go to. La. Anything beyond that, I very hard. La, oh. <laughs> okay. Uh. Uh, I think just want to add, uh, I mean that you, you are a slow learner. I think it doesn't matter. You can go through the e-course, you know, as anytime you want to. And of course, if um, she also provided you the list of the, you know, uh, weekly pick. So you can choose from the stock picks as well and you should be able to do well. So go through the course slowly and you know, uh, watch through the watch list is fine. But if you are expecting it to do nothing, you know, and, and you know, expect to make money, then I think let's be realistic. Lah. I think it, it can't work this way. It doesn't, as in, yeah. So it's not so easy to make money like this. Lah. Okay, so you need some, <laughs> some effort to at least go through the course, you know, go through the watch list and such. Lah. Because um, yeah. Jay, Jay, uh, main source of income doesn't come from training, full-time training, you see. So his main mm. income is from trading. So he should be trading the market all the time, not focusing 120% on the cost. Uh. You, you get what I mean? Uh, okay? This, yeah. this is why I don't run any ads. I'm proud to say that. Yes. Yep. Uh, Dom <laughs> is asking, right? Uh, the TPB can be used in any market. Malaysia stock boleh or not? <laughs> uh, Malaysia stock ah, Malaysia stock pun boleh. Uh, I I I don't know eh. Hey, let me find ah. Let me find. Uh, I okay. Malaysia stock ah. Why I say I don't know for not not uh previously it was not 
uh, very recommended. Why? Because you, you all see where the market going. Lah, huh? Just choppy sideways down and I love how this kind of market how to make money. But recently, there's a very exciting uh, movement coming up. So uh, is this recommended? Well, honestly, I can tell you if between an easier choice, uh, is there an easier choice? Yes, the US market. Yes, there's an easier choice. But I also understand that maybe because you're Malaysian, you are more comfortable trading your, your, your local market. That's perfectly fine as well. But you need to know that the performance will not be as good as the US market. Lah, for sure, lah, for sure. This is because some of my students, they after they use it, uh, I think the US one much better. So easy. Uh, I, I, that's the key. Lah. That's the key. So uh, does the course come with the relative strength indicator? Uh, yes, the strength meter, my proprietary strength meter. Yes, is inside. Yeah, it's inside. Um, this one done. This is by TT. Uh, suitable for options. Like I said, options is a trick. It's an instrument. Now you need a trigger. So it's like, now I need to shoot somebody. Do I use a handgun? Do I use a sniper rifle? Do I use a, a, a machine gun? Uh, it's, it's trigger. Like. At the end of the day, it's about, hey, that's your target, guys. This is your target. So use whatever way you know to, to shoot this target. Uh, you you want to throw darts also can, uh, if you're that good. Uh. So yeah, so that's, that's there. Bing, he's asking a good question, right? Jay can explain again, after October, when the market is recovering, we will then know energy and finance is strong. Mm. But mm. most of the energy and the financial stocks has already rallied. So it will yeah. be too late for us to chase these stocks now. Yes, uh, because stocks like, e, let's say I use the ETF, okay? I use XOP, for example, oil producer. Uh, if I zoom in, it's nothing short of like, it looks something like Tesla, right? So it's all heading up already. In fact, uh, don't get in now because why? I my, my, my students and I have got in like earlier. Uh, we have gotten out like now. So you are buying now. I'm selling it to you. A bit, a bit weird, right? So don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'm not buy now. <laughs> now. The, the, the price a bit high. La. So how do we find the next one? Like I said, lo, the top-down approach, which is something that I covered uh, down here. You can see uh, lesson 12 and 13. Uh, top-down approach. Uh, today, I'm also looking at one other industry, which is picking up uh, quite not bad, la, huh? quite not bad. La. Uh, like, like for example, uh, discretionary, it's okay. Uh, aerospace defense, I think that whole industry is okay. So how do I know? Same, la, top down, you do frequent monitoring, which is something that I do all the time. So look into those. La. I like to find those that poise to move, but haven't moved. You get what I'm saying? Like for example, just now I did up Textron, right? So Textron is, it haven't moved. La. But when it moves, la, it will scare you, okay? If it, if it moves, right? Uh, this is one that already moved. This is one that already moved. I think it's still strong, still in the same industry. But uh, for Textron, still haven't moved. Like, find this guy, la, better art risk to reward, ma, right or not? So, done. Uh, what is my slightly long-term outlook? Hey, honestly, uh, can I be honest with you guys? Can I, can, can I be honest? If I can be honest, can you just let me type yes? Can I be honest with that? Okay, uh, can I? Uh? If you ask me anything about the market, no, I honestly tell you, hey, it's not how sell, it's not anyhow just to brush you off. I really have no idea where the market is going on. Honestly, <laughs> I don't have a crystal ball. I don't have like a, oh, the market is going to go here, go there. And I, I mean, if it comes to the conditions that I mentioned just now, then uh, lucky, lah, lucky. Lah. But I honestly don't know. One. All I can say is I know it's uptrend. And on the uptrend, I know my bias. My bias is up. I want to buy. And number three is what is the price level that makes sense for me to buy? That's the third thing that I, and all this all, all on, honestly just, you know, displayed to you just now, uh, the whole breakdown. So if you ask me early next year, how, I also don't know. In fact, I don't even know what I'm going to do next week. How do I know what the market is going to do next year? Uh, so it is be, being very, very candid here, la, but this is honestly uh, how I approach the market. La. Oh, thanks. So that's done. Uh, one more question. One more question. Let me... Let me find one more question. Okay, so I think we are at 920 plus ready. So one more question, Jay. You choose the final question. <laughs> uh so uh wait uh, CH Siak say won the strong sector got rotated over time. Yeah, I already answered this. So this one let me kick it away. Um so for example, if not have life, uh uh okay, wait uh, wait uh, Robert. Uh, oh, okay, Robert. Uh, okay, that one is already wait, uh, later. Let me see. What's the momentum of this week's market? Um, how, uh, how, uh, how, uh, what is one question? Uh? 
Does it work for Japan stocks? Uh? I don't trade Japan stocks. Uh, but let me take a look at Nikkei. Uh. Uh, ew, type wrongly. N I K K E I. Let me look at. Let me take a look at the overall market first. A like that. This period, this period, like that. It looks a bit like Malaysia market. Can it work? I think so. Hong Kong can. I know students are using Hong Kong. Okay, is using Hong Kong. Uh, Japan. I can't really say. I looking at this. Yes. Uh, it looks can. Yes. Uh, but I don't have that many students trading Hong Kong. Uh, I mean Japan. This one must must tell you first. Must tell you first. Uh, Tan HK after enrolling the if you cannot access the ma the material is it sent to or you send to support assume training dot com is inside the email that you should have received already. Okay, done. So okay, last question by TT for market outside US for example Hong Kong. How do you analyze the sector industry if stock chart don't have data for them? Uh, good question. So. From what I understand, right? Uh, for US, why I use the US market is because US market got a lot of available data without the need for subscription. For Singapore market, you need to subscribe. Uh, I think, yeah, you need to subscribe to some, you know, data services, Bloomberg, you know, things like that. They will be able to give you all the others. Lah. But the thing is, I think don't need. Lah. So for Hong Kong stocks, uh, how do we analyze the, the sector and the industry rotation? Well, what I do is I will look at the Hang Seng, the Hang Seng stocks. Uh, I mean, it's not all, all encompassing. Lah. So I will look at the Hang Seng stock first. Then from Hang Seng stock there, I will work outwards. That means I will go and see, oh, okay, this is finance. What are some of the companies in finance? This is property. What are some of the companies in properties? This is this, this is that. So I expand from there lah, uh, for a foreign market like this. So a lot of things can be solved by Google. And all you think, all, all you need is just some time only. Uh, you, you can come up with a whole list one. So for US, it's my bread and butter. For I close to eye, I also know what stocks, what sector, what industry, because I look at it all the time. So hopefully this answers your question, TT. Okay, so I think time's up for, yeah, last question. Is. Just a recap, I mean, for NG, <laughs> she, she asked, right, uh, we just joined you to work. Is that a replay? Yes, there will be a replay. So we should send you the email regarding the replay link. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. So once I uploaded the videos, I will send to you guys. Okay. Yeah. And uh, just another, um, let me see. So Kim is asking, right? Mm. So uh, do, don't hold true earnings means each trade is less than three months, is it? Uh, so, okay, let, let me uh, elaborate on that. If you want to hold true earnings, make sure the instruments you are using is correct. Right? That means it limits your risk exposure. GSL, options, etc. So that if not, right, if you're going to go outright on stocks, don't go and hold through earnings because it can get up, get down. So most of my stocks, most of my trades that I mentioned just now, uh, it is it is two, uh, about two weeks, three weeks kind of thing. Uh. So, and I think as you have another question is like, if, is there a lot of duplication from what you're existing already know? Um, I don't focus so much on the system. I focus on you. I focus on the trader. I, I want to make sure that you know how to fish. Like, from just now, what I share with you uh, through, through the videos that I think you have seen me do in the COTD video, I think it's quite clear that uh, my style a bit different now. <laughs> I think I think you all can see this. Uh. You, you should be able to see this by now. Uh. Okay, so Keen, hopefully I answered your question. So pretty much, I think this is what, what it is. And uh, let me just flash this on the screen right now. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys for all your, all your participation and all your questions. Uh, I hope you have a fruitful session. And today is really a, a very raw, a very candid sharing. And hopefully you, you, you like this kind of style. So yeah, pretty much like that. Remember, if you want to enroll, use the, use the coupon code, okay? Don't, don't, don't donate extra $300 to me. Not that I don't like the money, but if you can pay me lesser, you pay me lesser. So this comes with uh, two live trading sessions. So the two times live trading session, this is an extra bonus. I don't do this for the e-course students one. Okay, so it's two times live trading sessions that is happening on first as well as 15 uh, November, my team will be in touch with you uh, regarding the RSVP very soon uh, after you have enrolled. And just now, I think we had 20 plus 15. I, I don't know whether 15 is up or not, but yeah, I, 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 I don't know. So this is the coupon, okay? You apply the coupon code. And that's all I have for you. Thank you all so much. Okay, the sign up link is over here. Alex, I think has posted. Yeah, already posted the, the link. Okay, I have nothing much to add. I think uh, you guys really learned a lot from here today. I especially, I like the trend line part. So I think this is also something you don't get to learn a lot from other you know, uh, courses out there. 
Okay, so I think that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoy your session and uh, we will see you very soon. And this marks the end of the Asia Trading Festival. So there won't be any more booster session already. Enough booster. Huh? Okay, maybe the vaccination jab got third, fourth, fifth booster. I don't know. But for ATF, there's only two booster <laughs> webinar. All right. So, and yep. uh, we also have the lucky draw. Okay, I know, I don't know some of you already forget, forgotten about it already, but I have not forgotten about it. Okay, there are books to be given away. There, there are, you know, vouchers and there are staycation. All right, the grand draw. So, uh, within the next one to two weeks, right, I will update you guys regarding the lucky draw winners. Okay, so that's all for yep. today. And thank you, Jay, once again. And once, once, one last time, I will post the link in the chat. Do remember to sign up. I think 15 more coupon codes. That's it. Okay, so that's all. So good night. We will see you guys again. All thank right. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.